the bill into subcommittee in order to work further with law enforcement agencies in the details of these amendments. I'll be back with more Alabama stories after this. Where I was living was not a great place to live anymore. I began to pray for a place to go, praying for all of these things that a nine-year-old would want. I wanted horses, big house with a bunch of people my age. I wanted parents. I wanted a mom and a dad. Before I even prayed it, the Lord had already answered my prayer with the Big Oak Ranch. Who would that nine-year-old be if she never came to the Big Oak Ranch? I would be trying to fight for survival instead of fighting to break a cycle. Big Oak Ranch, a Christian home for children needing a chance. A Birmingham teen was shot and killed after an argument occurred with someone else outside of a convenience store. The 16-year-old teen was trying to walk away from the argument and was shot while he was in his car. He was able to drive within blocks of his own home before he was discovered there. The victim is identified as Jalen Jenkins. No suspects have been arrested at this point. The U.S. Postal Service is planning to raise rates on their first-class stamps. The price will go from $0.68 cents to 73 The requested increase must first be approved by the Postal Regulatory Commission, and if approved, will start to take effect in July of this year. The U.S. Postmaster says rate hikes are necessary for the agency to become self-sufficient after years of operating under a defective pricing model. I'm Andrea Tice. Do you or a loved one have leg pain? Are your legs feeling tired? Do you have heavy skin discoloration? Do you have leg wounds or varicose veins? Are your legs swelling or do they have spider veins? If you're experiencing any vein issues, contact the professional caring staff at Ivy Creek Vein Clinic. They can help. Call 334-514-3851. Ivy Creek Vein Clinic, located at 525 Hospital Drive, Suite B in Wetumpka. Call Prune Masters, the professional pruners with over 30 years of experience, and that's all they do. To find out how you can get your hedges professionally pruned, call 220-2200 for a free estimate. Prune Masters, 220-2200. The views and opinions of the following program are solely those of the host and other contributors. These do not necessarily represent those of Liberty Acquisitions 825, Blue Water Broadcasting, its management staff, or any advertisers. It's time for Montgomery's Conversational Radio Show. It's news and views on News Talk 93.1 FM. To join the conversation, call 272-9228. Hey, miss! I don't mean to be telling tales out of school, but there's a fella in there who'll pay you $10 if you sing into his can. I'm not here to make a record, you dumb cracker. You broadcast me out on the radio. Joey Clark. Welcome into News and Views in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Joey Clark, here on a lovely, just lovely Thursday. I hope everybody survived the storms last night. How about Eddie uh, Eddie Bader's here? How about in your neck of woods there, Eddie? Got a little windy up there, Joey. I got, got a little windy. Big old boat that moved around. I got to take care of that. I have not checked on the other side of the lake, but it got pretty windy. Yeah, my bedroom wall that I'm usually leaning up against, mm-hmm. laying on the bed, watching TV, is right on the outside of the house. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty close to another house. Fair distance, but the suburbs are in yeah. County Downs. But it creates this wind tunnel. So even when the weather's not bad... It, it, you hear it, mm-hmm. and it, like last night, I thought, okay, the big one's coming in, but now it's just the yeah, the I've houses. Got a, I've got a two hundred pound acre on a forty foot boat, and it was moving it around like a toy last night. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> daggum, yeah. So, so it got a little windy, but all in one piece. Yeah, we're saying, you know, I love your shirt today because you're all business up front. You're like here uh, at Eddie's uh, Fishing Tours. Uh, we're gonna get you some crappy or crappy, whatever you want to call them. Exactly. Know what, what part of state you're from? Mm-hmm. Uh, might even get you a little bit of what are some fish? bass. Might even get you a little bit of bass. bass some brim. Some brim. Some carp. Uh, carp, but that's a joke. Uh, nobody's carp, idiots. People but do. No, that's the front of your shirt. It's like all business. Yeah. But could you do a thing sure. where you turn around? God bless America, land that I love. All patriot in the back, baby. I'm like I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, yet yep. he's a Southern boy. Well, I just at the end of the day. I never thought, honestly, as a uh, young tot, being a military brat, I would be as patriotic as I am. But as I'm getting older, really, I'm really embracing it. Yeah. Yeah, but what do you mean by patriotism? 
uh, in a sense with me actually paying attention to what's going on in the world, in, mm-hmm. in my world, in the United States, the policies that we're making, also reminding folks that America is the greatest country on earth. And I don't want people to forget that. And when I see, and I know sometimes it's jokingly, but uh, Jay Leno will do the man on the street things, and they talk to people about the United States, that people that live here. Mm-hmm. And they kind of put each other, they put us down, and they live here. That that right. really, uh, as an older guy, man, it really starts to get to me. So I feel like uh, we should. We should all display it on a regular basis. I love the fact that flags are out and things like that. And I've lived in other countries where they just didn't do that. Really? Yeah. They just, they just didn't do that. See, but I'm, I'm not feeling the patriotism uh, these days. Well, by the way, O.J. Simpson is dead at the age of 76, folks. 76. We'll, we'll get yeah. to that in, in a second. You know, it's in his book, O.J. wrote, mm-hmm. that uh, he would um, take a bullet for Nicole. He would have taken, he would have been hit by a train for Nicole. And isn't it ironic that the person that would die for you kills you? It happens. That's a great Norm joke from SNL. They're making the rounds. The Norm just hit jobs against O.J., are making the rounds as the O.J. Simpson family yeah. has uh, put out a statement. You know, please, in this time of trouble, it's like, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, privacy and all that crap. Yeah, sure. I remember a book, and I don't remember who wrote it. I'm sure somebody will text me. But in the book, it's it describes his son doing it. Mm-hmm. And, man, it's pretty dang believable. It describes his son his doing son it. His son and O.J. covering for his son. Oh, wow. And it's, uh, it's pretty darn believable. Here, turn yeah. your camera a little more that way. There you go. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling the patriotism, though, like in the sense that I like American ideals. Yeah. I like the things we're supposed to stand for. Well, right now, I think as a country, we're struggling a little bit. Big divisive, mm-hmm. more divisive than I've ever seen it. Um, I like our prosperity. I do, too, but I like the fact, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel the winds of change are blowing, and uh, there's a lot of us that are going to get our country back. What does that mean? It means this DEI crap and things like this are going to go... Mm. back to the wayside the way it should go well they're just going to rebrand it though it's fine let them go rebrand it but meanwhile that train is going to run them over well there's a new study out actually that calls into question whether dei programs really boost corporate they do earnings. not right they do not well except if you're part of that sort of corporate cartel where it's not really about your bottom line that much yeah you might want to get like a basic like return even if you're a little low on your return capital accumulation it's fine. Well, Your company's also invested in yeah. the index. You can, you know, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the whole point of advertising isn't to get your product out there. It's to pick winners and losers in the larger economy, like they were doing with uh, all media until Elon showed up. Well, I seen a new, uh, what I consider a new low for the climate change deal. Mm. Uh, as you know, I got an Airbnb, so I'm setting up websites for it. With well, this one particular steering website, they want you to contribute part of your earnings to the greater global climate change initiative or whatever they want to call it. And they really, I mean, they push it. They ask you like three or four times, you're sure you don't want to give at least half percent, one tenth? Who the hell are these people, man? <laughs> yeah, who's it going to? And what a good scam they got going. Right. Uh, I mean, I just couldn't believe no, it. No, and I'm that way with like, hey, do you want to give to the children's fund? I, I'm always like, no. But, what children? Like, if somebody has a kid right, right. in front of me, Joey, do you want to give... It's a little uh, bit different story, right? Yeah, it, no, even the kids are like, you know, have got the dollar clipped on. Like, I'm raising money for my church's baseball team. And I'm like, are you sure yeah. you're actually part of a baseball? Here you go, kid. Yeah. I don't mind that. But all this, like, yeah, everything's bureaucratized. That and Or you don't even know where it's going. And tipping. Tipping, yes. Oh, wait, What's you hit some deal? buttons on the... Well, where do you feel it's appropriate to tip? Okay, unless I'm wrong, waiter, waitress, that type deal. Service industry all day long. Mm-hmm. If you uh, have a service person in your life and you give out christmas bonuses to them more power too you got money for that right um other than that really not a whole lot it so people that deliver moment. food to you yeah people that provide a service people to me. like a waiter waitress yes a uh, tour guide that kind of thing all right. day long right maybe a taxi driver do you tip your waitresses more than your waiters given you know women don't get paid as much as men no i typically tip on service and honestly a lot of my tips now are basic like because service no like Hey, can I get my drink refilled once in a blue moon? Uh, can I get a beer? Oh, are they attentive? Is there such a thing as being too attentive, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, like I'm trying to have a serious conversation yeah, here. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, but but honestly, I've been given Wait, less so you're saying if the waitress is, like, really hot, you don't like her more than just some, like, oh, if, I like I was, her more, but if I was serving you at a restaurant, I would get less tips than the hot you'd, chick? You'd probably get about the same. Really? Dude. Now you're making me feel uncomfortable. No, dude, I'm just, uh, I'm that guy. 
by the way, O.J. Simpson dies at 76. Mm -hmm. He has uh, succumbed to cancer. Didn't know he had it. I didn't know he had it either. I wonder if that's why he kind of got let out a little bit. I mean, I'm wondering what he had on Hillary Clinton. Mm. Don't do it, Juice. Mm -hmm. Not sad when anybody dies, but... It is. um, But certain people become memes. Like, it's not really... I don't know O.J. None of us really know O.J., but yeah, the whole meme of O.J. Simpson is you become larger than yourself. In but O.J. broke her heart, man. O.J. was the guy we cheered for in the NFL. O.J. was the guy in the Hertz commercial. O.J. was the guy with Naked the running through the luggage. Right. Right. He saved that baby. Right. And right. then it goes and it broke her heart. Plus, he was a pretty good football player. And uh, yeah, he was pretty yeah. good. Right. Um, but I just O.J. broke her heart, man. And then but and don't the Kardashians have a relation to that? It was like yeah, Robert Kardashian. Yeah. Yeah, and the the weaves. People, I think uh, that kind of made, people made the Kardashian to that point. I think money from OJ. I almost said weaves people web. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, um, there's also another study that proves transgender children actually have other mental health diagnoses instead of just uh, gender dysphoria. Oh, really? It's not Which, a one size fits all. Are are we shocked about that? And somebody's maybe, uh, God forbid. A bit confused about who they are, might be depressed, uh, might in fact be kind of a bipolar, whatever that is, might have a literal personality disorder, might yeah. be schizophrenic, might, might happens, dude. You know, there's a lot of different things that can occur there, but it's interesting how all these like top notch stars mm-hmm. that you see, I think it's at the grandfather of this person, the yeah, the granddaughter, Ben Affleck's daughter. Okay. Came out as Finn during the funeral. You know where yeah, you're supposed to give up and give a eulogy. Uh, see, yeah. What in the world is that? <clears throat> that's just that's just a uh, narcissist trash. Well, and it's also social contagion. It's like, oh, this is people are just born this way. But but then you actually, it? you're born to be able to change however you want. It's just. Uh, and I don't even want to jump in on the culture wars that much today because OJ died today. But Democrats uh, voted against a bill yesterday in the Congress. Oh. Uh, it was a bill seeking to add citizenship as a question on the U.S. Census. And we can't do that because. Because why? Because that would be. Uh, that would be asking an important question. Do we need to bother really talking to you? You're not a citizen of this country. Racist. It's not They racist. live here, too. They do live here. They do. Some of them illegally. Wouldn't right. that be a good way to find, go solve some crime real quick? Right. Now, Vivek Ramaswamy put out a great video. He's walking the streets of New York, yeah. and uh, some guy just stopped him, I believe a Colombian expat, who's now a citizen of the United States. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about all these you know, migrants getting illegal aliens, getting benefits in New York. Yeah. And he's like, do, and the key thing he said is, do they not understand you're putting in some of the most violent people? I escaped Colombia yeah. because of the gangs, because of the cartels. These folks are monsters that you're letting in here. I think I heard Trump the other day say the crime rate over there is going to go down. It has gone down. Because they're coming here and ours is going up. So it's just... uh, So we can't even ask somebody for the purpose, because a big part of the census, right, is apportionment. How many representatives in the House of Representatives do you get? How many electoral votes do you get? It's based on your population. So now we're going to count folks that aren't even citizens who can't vote? No, that's where it's starting. And they're already voting in some elections, too. We've already... I hate to say it, but we, that ship has sailed. Mm-hmm. But I think, again, as a patriot with hope, I think all that will change before long. Well, and I think what would be the most honest way our system works is why we even vote. Well, Joey, that's the one thing we can do. Yeah, but it, it, take that away. How much do you feel like you're in charge? You might be in charge of your own household. You might be in charge of your own business if you've gotten that. Mm-hmm. You might be in charge of, like, maybe you're like a just a baller a gamer on like say rust or something and you're out there and you're building cabins and you're fighting pvp and you're taking people out on the virtual interwebs okay but in your everyday life you're kind of a slave to everybody else so the the voting is really solving the problem right and you know alabamians are all consenting uh what was 20 something percent in the last primary election that is so sad so what i'm wondering is like how do you not consent like, I don't want y'all to do anything you're doing. Oh. Well. I See, I'm on the opposite of that. 
I wonder, and I know our politicians are not going to be behind this, but obviously mm-hmm. we need to incentivize voters. As ridiculous as that sounds, right? We need it. But politicians aren't going to do it. Do they but, really want 100 percent? You know, maybe I'm just being vote? impatient. You got to vote the right people in. And there were 19 Republicans yesterday who killed the FISA bill in a good way. But, <clears throat> so they they've stopped spying on Mike us, Johnson. Right? One of them. No. <laughs> no, Republican privacy hawks have sunk FISA renewal bill, renewal bill backed by Speaker Johnson. Now, there is one wrinkle. Thomas Massey, who is a canary in the coal mine, yeah. did not vote with that 19 because he said we needed a vote on the amended FISA because you better believe, okay, you killed this one. This one. They're going to bring so something up, and all these Democrats are going to vote for the one that just mm-hmm. approves the program as it currently exists. But at least some people are trying to do the right thing. Or attempting to look like they are. Right. That too. I don't care hey, I just, if you have it truly in your heart or not. I just want the outcome when it comes to politics. <laughs> Make it pretend. Pretend for me, baby. <laughs> and by the way, folks, O.J. Simpson dead today at 76. Um, Biden is currently not eligible for the Alabama presidential ballot. He has the I same heard, issue in Ohio. Yes, well. I heard about it in Ohio. they got to get on the stick to get him on the ballot, huh? Yeah, and uh, there are some folks and part of the media here in Alabama all lathered up about this, but Wes Allen, the Secretary of State's like, I'm giving you several months fair warning. You're not in compliance right. with the way our laws were. Trying to keep Biden off the ballot. But, I mean... He's trying to keep Biden off the ballot. Yeah. But, wait, it. who's going to win Alabama? Uh, that'd be Donald Trump. You sure? You sure it's not going to be like RFK Jr.? As of today... Yeah. Donald Trump. We'll keep asking you about that All as right. we lead up to election. Day. RFK Jr., though, is getting more and more traction to the point of, um, mm-hmm. I've heard some other people kind of squawking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he might be going for the Libertarian nomination. He so could, we had Michael Rechtenwald that, on, right? on Tuesday. We heard Rechtenwald yeah. on Tuesday. Uh, next Tuesday after Judge Knapp, we're going to have a guy named Mike Termott. Termott. Uh, uh, yeah. And he seems like a pretty successful business guy. Okay. He's running to be the Libertarian nominee, but I wonder, does RFK Jr. sweep in, become the Libertarian candidate? Because there have been a lot of Libertarians that love they some RFK him? Jr. Now they, they have moments where they're like, oh no, he's still kind of a liberal Democrat. But dude, that's anybody. Right. Anybody's going to have some things you don't like. Right. And we're denied perfection on this side of Eden. Thank you. So at least if somebody's taking you kind of the direction you want to go, that, that could work out. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. But I, I think. Do you think we're on the verge of civil war? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think uh, the media pushes that just the right. fear factor, but no. Yeah, there's a Yahoo article out today saying how America's next civil war could unfold. It's looming. The battle lines have already been drawn. One of my uh, <laughs> friends that uh, I go fishing with, him and I are completely opposite sides of the spectrum on politics. Him and I talked just the other day. You know what we talked about? Going fishing next weekend, right? We, we neither. And, and honestly, when we talk about politics, it's it's generally just giving each other crap for a few minutes. But ideal, idealistically, we're on the exact opposite side. So you're talking to me like that, fishing, and then turn around. we real quick. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a prom. Ironically enough, he's a big patriot too. Right. And, and, and but it's funny because we don't. If we were truly on the verge of civil war, of all people, him and I would be going at it. Here's how this article uh, starts, because it's hilarious. I want to read it direct here, just a little bit of it. By the way, folks, O.J. Simpson dead today at 76. I'm going to keep saying that every breaking news report I get on my phone, every time I see it. Yeah, we know. Famous for its craft beers and indie bookstores, the city of Portland in Oregon is not an obvious place for the United States to start fraying at the seams. A haunt of millennial hipsters and downsized tech bros, it prides itself as a vegan-friendly, eco-friendly, migrant-friendly beacon of progressive America. One person many Portlanders have never felt friendly towards, though, is Donald Trump. And when he unveils his zero tolerance immigration policy back in 2018 protesters took to the streets so too did the far right patriot prayer and proud boys movements which is how alexander reed ross a portland academic who studies political violence got some first-hand experience of his specialism 
A big fight broke out between 150 right-wingers and 75 anti-fascists. And at one point, about seven right-wingers were crowded around one kid, giving them a real stomping. I rushed to push them away, at which one point, uh, one of them punched me in the face. Wait, has this guy not also heard of Andy No? Like, really, the stupid, like, fights between people in pajamas on our streets, that's what's defining America today? Because I'd imagine, say, with the actual war between the states or yeah. war northern aggression or the Civil War. Yeah, like we we're trying to set up plantations war in Boston. Hey. Like we're trying to set up plantations in New England. Give me a break. What you growing up there? Snow? Apples? How do you like them apples? I got a number. <laughs> but it's like I'd imagine in the Civil War, no, you had the complete mobilization of, of populations. Going and fighting. Right. 150 idiots so hopped up on their political ideology getting in fist fights is not the same thing. I don't think so either. Charlottesville is not representative of the United States of America. Not hardly. I remember thinking at the time it happened. So many of the inciting events are not representative of the United States of America, so called. It's just absurd. But anyway, you don't think we're going to. No. Yeah, yeah, I think there'll be, anytime, over the next couple of months, I think there'll be triggers to try to engage things like that, because I think there are a huge part oh, but, of the donor class that likes that kind of action. Oh, but you do know the old uh, Wildean wisdom, Oscar Wilde, he said that life imitates art more than art imitates life. Like, mm -hmm. you create a type, yeah. you create a form, and people will fill that out in real mm -hmm. life. Well, there's a new movie coming out called Civil War, pretty original Similar scenes of unrest also feature at the start of the new film, Civil War, which takes the concept of America's political fracturing to its logical extreme. Wait, was there a civil war when the Soviet Union fell? I don't believe so. So you're saying, like, the only way for nations to break up is a bunch of, like, bloodletting. Bloodshed. A blood... No, a no, bloodbath. Joey, in my lifetime, we've seen several break up that with no bloodbath. Right. Like, I have no desire to go fight people in Oregon or fight most anybody. Like, I don't know. I didn't do anything to you. You didn't really do that much to me. I mean, you just want to like, fight. You all hopped up like, oh, I'm important. I matter. No, you don't. You're just fodder for some manipulative a hole, narcissist, psychopath that's convinced you that it's some righteous cause you're fighting for when he just wants your meat suit to be thrown at the other meat suit. Ooh, Joey. Don't fall for it. The movie is fictional, but with widespread fears that November's presidential election may plunge America back into turmoil, many are already hailing it as a cautionary tale. <laughs> Didn't they say that about that Zuckerberg movie and the Obama movie that came out a little while ago? Yeah, it's just so stupid. <laughs> By the way, folks, O.J. Simpson dead today at 76. Let's go to Papa B. Hey, Papa hey, B. Hey, Papa B. Uh, I heard that O.J. Simpson... Yeah. Today at I think it's true. I'm wondering, did he meet Norm MacDonald at the Pearly Gates? I don't even want to think about it, man. Yeah, that's, it's probably okay. wise. It's a, it's a rough day. It's it's fresh. Yeah. Uh, I know his Bronco just went up in value. Don't do it, you. I know. Uh, uh, you know, I just, I'm not going to say anything because it's not good to speak ill of the dead right at the moment anyway, I don't think. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut about that but anyway you know the, you know our, our south bet food company in washington would love it if there was a civil war they've been trying to provoke a civil war yep. for i don't know at least what since obama oh years. they thought that i mean they were going to get it when obama was elected they thought i mean they were what they had their you know fork and knife out they were watering at the mouth mm -hmm. just know it that there was going to be all kind of civil unrest when it didn't happen, and the more it hasn't happened, the more they're having to poke people to use a nicer term than what they're actually. You know, what well, they're right. actually Don't forget tried. the pallet of bricks. Yeah, man. Look, I I truly believe that uh, at some point along the line here that they are the ones that are going to try to instigate or 
you know, civil war, or at least act as if one were going on right. for the cameras. You know, they will have, uh, just as the FBI agents we've seen, you know, at the January 6th, they dressed up like MAGA folks. They'll dress up their, you know, protesters as MAGA extremists or whatever, you know, to try to provoke a, a civil war, get it started, so to speak. Why, why would I think anything different, Joey? I mean... I'm not going to try to disabuse you of that notion. You know, I I just don't know what, you know, to expect none of, none of us do, but there's no depth of inhumanity well, that they won't go to. But where I'm coming <laughs> from, Papa B, is I don't think it's just Alabama where essentially 70, 80 percent of the people stay home on Election Day. I think there are a lot of mm -hmm. Americans who, if people just want to chalk that up to, oh, apathy. Well, maybe some people will stay home think you're a bunch of corrupt, narcissistic psychopaths, and we don't <laughs> want to support you in any form or fashion. That said... There are a lot of Americans who think this is all crap. Right. The media stirring it up. They, they, like, they're done. Yeah. You come to their home, their actual abode, yeah, you got a problem with most Americans. Mm -hmm. But I think most right. people don't buy into this crap by any means. I know. Hey, there's one thing that I would say. You know, this whole abortion debate, you know, some people just can't take a win and live with it. I mean, Donald <laughs> Trump gave us the win of a generational win was a Supreme Court decision mm -hmm. to end Roe v. Wade. Everybody knew it had to end sooner or later, but they couldn't get any traction. And now that it has ended, you know, I just I never underestimate the ability of the, well, you know, the right, the religious right, the zealot on the right. To do a political face plan, <laughs> right, and lose it all because they just can't think, you know, outside of a wet paper bag. They just dumb, you know. Why keep this up? And Lindsey Graham is pushing this thing about, oh, we got to come up with the law. Oh, we got to come up with the law. We got to have a week of, in a federal, you know. Shut up. I don't think Lindsey Graham is sincere at all. I think he's helping and aiding and abetting the Democrats to keep on, you know, winning on that issue. I, I don't, he's not, I don't think he's sincere about Wait, it. Wait, so you're saying stop. your advice to Lindsay is stop playing with it. <laughs> I like it. Follow his own advice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to give up beating his tambourine anytime mm, soon. Too bad. Let me tell you something. What Lindsey Graham is doing, he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And it's not anything good for the conservatives, the Republicans, MAGA, or Donald Trump, anything like that. He's, he's doing some things that will help the Democrats, and he knows it. So I'm very disappointed in him for that. Anyway, guys, well, listen, thanks a lot for letting me chime in. Thank you, Papa Thank B. Thank you, Papa B. Folks, if you can't tell, I'm just in a kind of fancy-free mood. So wherever you want to go, 272-9228. You can fuss, you can cuss us. Well, not too much. FCC rules. Uh, I mean, you can praise us, say we're wonderful, but not too much. That gives us. Uh, and please don't do the trick of like Joey, Eddie. Y'all are awesome. Now let's talk about the blacks in the juice. It's like no, 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 no. You don't get to come on here and praise us and then start saying a bunch of crap. It's like you know Kanye West with every human being has <laughs> something of value that they brought to the table. Wait, which everyone, Kanye? everyone let's go to simpler days hey simpler days hey uh, papa b didn't want to talk about the dead but I, i'll talk about the gold brown simpson born 1959 and murdered in 1994. I, i'll talk about her yeah for folks who don't I, know oj simpson died today at the age of 76. Mm -hmm. i got to meet her i got to meet her sister in san diego uh probably 12 years ago and got to talk to her and was inviting her to a, a domestic violence event that we were having in Montgomery. And she is quite a looker and she, you know, to hear it out of her mouth and to hear it was, it was the perfect storm. Mm. And, you know, the, Nicole was 
out dating uh, other football player. And I think one of them's name was Allen, Charles Allen, maybe anyway, one of OJ's buddies. Mm -hmm. Marcus Allen. But, you know, Marcus Allen. And, uh, so it was like waving a red flag in front of a bull. And, and you know, there was a history of, of domestic violence there between them. And, you know, he was such a likable guy. He, he had uh, one of the, as, as her sister told me, one of the captains with the LAPD had given him a gun. Wow. Uh, a presentation model. And of course, this was uh, before the domestic violence incident, before we, you know, blacked both her eyes and broke her nose and, and, and that. But, right. But if you, if you ever looked at the crime scene photos, um, no, not in detail. I was too young at the time, and honestly, I've had much desire to go back and look. Well, he, he stabbed both of them like 51 times, mm -hmm. just multiple times, and in the cold, he almost severed her head off. Yeah, and clearly dogs. just pure rage, like right. to do something right. like that, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just somebody that jumped the fence and came over and was going to rob them, you know, or... Some, something of that, you know, nature. It, it was truly a soul crime, and, and it was tent to and cause and inflict pain. But the that case, the players in the courtroom, uh, all the players in that courtroom became the focus of the case rather than the evidence. Yep. And and that's what a good defense attorney does. If he knows your client's guilty. And he creates a diversion, and that's what they did. They created that diversion away from the evidence and, and emotionally charged the jury. And, of course, good old ju the judge let, he let you know, the court get out of his control. Oh, yeah. And anything went. But when I was listening to a lot of uh, Norm MacDonald uh, riding in, you know, as the news broke, and that's all over Twitter now. And, and one of the lines on SNL, I believe, was Judge Ito in a TV appearance was asked, whether or not an impartial judge should be appearing on media like this, Judge Edo will respond. Well, is it inappropriate to kill your ex-wife? <laughs> you know that, that that was the most famous criminal case in the history of the United yep. States, and so many, I mean, so many law students, so many law, you know, forces now that they've used that case, and uh, it was just amazing the focus that the american you know public had on it well because and, it became bigger than even the case like i was talking about with memes that it, it became a race thing right like it, it became symbolic of america and race in america oh oh exactly yeah. and you know it, it took the focus off of the the evidence and you know they gave that case to like 10 different major homicide divisions different police departments and had them develop a workable suspect and all 10 of them came up with OJ is the, you know, is, is the suspect. And then they even, they used the mosaic that the CIA and, uh, uh, FBI and other agencies used to develop threat assessment against the president and everything. And it developed OJ is, is so, I mean, there wasn't any doubt that he was the, you know, the, the offender, but, Right. It's just one of those cases where they, they were able to spin the jury and, and take it off and divert it off the evidence. Well, uh, I appreciate the call, Simple Days. We have a have lot a day. rolling in. Appreciate you. 272-9228. Hey, Eddie, this part of the program? Yeah. Brought to you by Dylan Rings. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Josh and Leslie Ryder. Great you know, folks over there at Dylan Rings. I was on their Facebook a while ago. Mm -hmm. He brought up a good point. He's talking about appraisals, which oh, is one yeah. of the things that they offer. And uh, basically, the, the line went something like, don't be dealing with an outdated appraisal. Yes. You know, if you've got, if you hadn't had an appraisal in the past three to five years on a piece of jewelry, bring it to him and get it appraised. Yeah, get it updated. For sure. Especially with, well, just think about inflation, the 27% headline number. Yeah. Gold, hello. Right. So jewelry does gain value. It's actually mm -hmm. one of those things that can hold value over time. And my guess is if you don't have it appraised right, if something were to happen, you go to file an insurance claim, well, hmm. And I'm looking at it on Instagram. Yeah. There's an actual certificate of appraisal. Oh, there you go. Well, so see, it's not just something. like, oh, Josh Ryder yeah, said so. Josh said so. Like, good. like, no, this is <laughs> on the up and up. This like is that. top notch right here. And so their advice, their Dylan Rings, is if your current appraisals are five years older or more, 
You need to get them updated today. Yeah. So stop by 119 Brown Springs Road. That's just off of Atlanta Highway. I always remember it's where the old fun zone used to be mm -hmm. right there. Nestled off of Atlanta and Highway and Taylor Road. Right there. And to be sure to tell Josh and Leslie Ryder that Joey and Eddie from News and Views, those fellas on the radio sent you, we'll be telling you more about Dylan Rings a little later in the program. Clint Jr., Soldier Boy, hold your positions. We'll be right back. He may not know whether he's coming or going. But whether you're going to work or coming home, Greg Budell is there. Mornings, 6 till 9, and afternoons, 3 till 6. Only on News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. I'm with Miss Dot at the Eastbrook Flea Market and Antique Mall. Dot, spring is already here. Oh, I'm so glad, too. I'm tired of being cold. With spring, we're starting to bring out the wicker furniture. We are getting in the iron outdoor furniture and just, um, a lot of things that's just going to brighten your day. Now, if somebody needs some furniture for their home, you have a good selection, don't you? If there's any furniture that you can't find anywhere else, come to Eastbrook because we have a wonderful selection of solid, good, heavy furniture at excellent prices. Actually, better than you're going to find anywhere else. Just come see us and walk around all three floors, and let's help you out to fill up those living rooms and dining rooms and bedrooms, but we've got it all. Do you have any booth space available at this time? I have booth space available, so come see us. All right, give us those hours of operation. Monday through Friday is 10 until 6. Saturday is 9 until 6, and Sunday 1230 to 430. Eastbrook Flea Market and Antique Mall, 425 Coliseum Boulevard. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 457 6060. That's 1 800 457 6060. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 457 6060. That's 1 800 457 6060. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at selectquo.com slash commercials. For too long, Alabama's statewide news companies have shamed us for our conservative Christian values. Alabama deserves a news company that cherishes our culture, a company that isn't bought and paid for by the powers that be. 1819 News is that company. Run by Alabamians for Alabamians, 1819 News celebrates what is good and beautiful about our state while exposing those who work against our values in secret. Just go to 1819news.com to learn more. Subscribe to our newsletter. That's 1819news.com. Hi, this is Bo Goodson from the Goodson Group. Have you ever considered turning your home into a rental and build wealth at the same time? People throughout the River Region are doing that right now. By investing wisely in the right property or turning your current home into a rental, is the secret. Hiring a property manager to professionally manage your property is the way to prosperity. Our company does all of the advertising, personally showing prospective tenants, does a thorough background check and credit report before moving forward. Over 15 critical services are provided to our clients in protecting the asset, but also providing the best residence in your home possible, collecting rent on time and frequent inspections Help landlords feel better about renting their house. And to provide clean, well-kept homes that anybody would be proud to call home. For a complete list of property management services, call Bo Goodson at the Goodson Group at 221-2883 or 551-0225. Hi there, I'm Kim Williams with Alabama Home Mortgage. And I'm Madeline Cannon. It's true, rates aren't as low as they have been for the past couple of years, but there are still many homeowners that can benefit from refinancing their current mortgage. There are a lot of things in life that are out of our control, but your mortgage rate is not one of them. If you currently have an adjustable rate mortgage, then you owe it to yourself to give us a call. Adjustable rate mortgages make sense for some people in stable markets, but in this wild, ever-changing rate environment, it only makes sense to secure a fixed interest rate. A fixed interest rate 
rate will give you the peace of mind that your rate is law. Your rate will not be subject to change with the political and economic tides. At Alabama Home Mortgage, you can personalize your term. We offer 8-year to 30-year mortgages and everything in between. Grab your mortgage statement and give us a call. Call Alabama Home Mortgage, the number one mortgage lender in Alabama, today at 567-4223. Or visit us online at MyAlabamaHomeMortgage.com. That's Alabama Home Mortgage because, folks, there is a difference in mortgage companies. NMLS 1586368, Equal Housing Lender. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Greenwood, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy, effective leadership, and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights, our values, and our future. God bless you in Alabama, and God bless the USA. I'm Dick Brubaker, and I approve this ad. The Health and Wealth Show. The Health and Wealth Show. The show so nice, we said it twice. Weekday evenings at 6 on News Talk 93.1 WACV. The Health... Make it up, son. Joke's over, hey? Rich Thomas Weather, a service of Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, where dump truck drivers are in demand. Wiley Sanders is on the grow. We need dump truck drivers now. Call 855-77-9785. Hi everybody, we've got some brighter days ahead, a great weekend forecast. Today a transitional day, windy at times, cooler, well the high near 70. Clouds will dominate most of the time through tonight, low tonight down to about 50. Tomorrow, Friday, nice start to a great weekend, lots of sunshine, high 71. We'll be teasing 80 degrees Saturday, near 83 Sunday with more sunshine. Beautiful weekend, mid 80s are back on Monday. From the Blue Water Weather Center, this is Rich Thomas. For the lowest prices around on flooring and DIY flooring installation supplies, Budget Floors and More is your new best friend. Luxury vinyl plank, carpet, ceramic tile, floor installation supplies, and more with prices lower than the big box stores. Budget Floors and More, Hunter Lane, across from Delray to Publix. When the news happens, you'll hear about it first. The River Region's most trusted voice. News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. Welcome back to News and Views in the Afternoon. 334-272-9228. Breaking news, O.J. Simpson is dead today at 76. Hey, did you see also this? Uh, Kim Jong-un, he promises a death blow to a potential enemy. And he ignores... Biden's Wait, do you think request. Kim Jong-un did it, not cancer? To O.J.? Nah. Nah. Actually, American love O.J. I don't think so. I think he kind of realized America fell out of love with O.J. He's probably a little bit hurt over it, too. Juice. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Clint Jr. before I get in more trouble. Hey, Clint Jr., how you doing? Good. How you doing today? All right. Uh, Lindsey Graham, like a year and a half or so ago when I saw him coming out of a meeting and he fist bumped Kamala Harris. Oh. That lets me know he's a fake. He's a plant. And another thing I, want, I heard on the news on your station today that they've got some guy from Seattle coming to be put in the education, like president of the education something. Do you know anything about that? No. Say it one more time. I, I really don't, though, but say it one more time. Uh, the guy they hired to be a president of something in, in Montgomery or Alabama education is a guy from Seattle. I'm not sure what it is with the education he's going to be in charge of, but Seattle told, tells me woke people we don't want here. So I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. Now, is this the state level or the county level? I'm not sure. Okay. It was on your one of your news bulletins and said something about a guy from Seattle in charge of our education, so that's all I heard. Okay, I'll have to double check it. It might be with AT nineteen then, uh, but I've kind of trained myself not to listen to the commercials. Um, but <laughs> I appreciate it, Clint Junior. All right, thank you guys. See you, bud. That's a bad habit. I actually, we were paying attention to hear Lee Greenwood. Yeah, I mean, they got our Dick attention, Rubaker. right? Yeah, I was like, wow, it's Lee Greenwood. What's he going to talk about? The Bible. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. 
Yeah, well, now you can't see because you see the back of the chair. But Eddie's got this great shirt on. It's a fishing shirt. What is that, Magellan? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, and then the front looks like all business, like all whited yep, out yep. and uh, like button down collar. And then you turn around, there's a big old American flag print on the back. One of my proudest moments is you notice no stains on it yet. Hmm. No stains. I'll get my sousaphone later. We'll have some real fun. Let's go to Soldier Boy. Boy, for a second, I thought I was Chuck Barris on the gong show. Uh, I was going to gong you uh, for your, your singing qualities. I, I know Lee again, Greenwood. You know what? I like your singing, but then again, I like herpes. But that's another story. What? Uh, that's what he said one time. He used that. Chuck Barris used that one time. He said, man, I liked you, man, but, uh, but then again, I like herpes. Right. right. Hey, two, uh, a couple talking points. Uh, first uh, talking point is I heard a, a wrestler. Was that Yoko Suma that died? But WWE, he said it was a it was a Asian uh, uh, sumo style wrestler from the, he, re- he wrestled in WrestleMania and he he passed away today. But uh, you know that Joe, you're the no, fan. I didn't see that one. I just know that OJ died today. Uh, here oh, it is. Yeah, this well, is from about the no no. It's a sumo legend. Yeah, Ake Bo. He wrestled in WrestleMania. Oh, he did it. WrestleMania. Yoko- okay. Was that Yoko Zuma? Remember yeah, him? you're right. He that is Yoko Zuna. He died. His real name was Ake Bono or something like that. He's at oh, only yeah, fifty four. I know. Yeah, it's a lot too of stress. They put a lot of those sumo guys. Well, uh, it's a surprising well, that they survive long. Too many tours to the uh, uh, and trips up to the Golden Corral uh, trough there, you know, and that'll do it to you. A uh, second uh, uh, talking term is, uh, thing is mm-hmm. uh, this one's a national one. Okay, I see that the Democrats want to get rid of Sotomayor because uh, they want her out and they want that older white guy, a liberal, out too because they're afraid of Trump coming in office and uh, these people retire during his term. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that move. Man, can you believe that? Sotomayor is one of the most liberal ones on that. On that yeah, she just got off. there under Obama, right? right. Well, the they old they wise Latino the woman. Female. Though. Yeah, the first Latino in the Supreme mm-hmm. Court. But we're going to get rid of her now because she ain't playing the game and she's going by the book. Well, dude, there's us. It shouldn't surprise you. They're very much so. What have you done for me lately? You're my friend today, it's, but if you cross me, you're yeah. my enemy tomorrow. And they're going to ask everybody question. in politics. Yeah. Um, a lot of auto loan, a lot of home loans. Uh, n- number number two is a lot of home loans. Are they uh, pretty? Pretty was it Fannie Mae and Freddie uh, Mac, whatever that is? Yes. There's okay. Are those fed, are those right. federal? Are those federal? Yes. Federal banks, well, yeah. federal okay. pseudo. Well, if you ask Joe to pay off a freaking loan, a house loan it is. <laughs> It'd be cheaper uh, than some of these college everybody. loans. And yeah, actually get some because money. if we just settled all the debt of the United States, that would really do well for the economy, right? It's not like we built a paper. Oh, now we're worried about the economy? Yeah, a paper house of cards. Hey, you, with get, you get me out free, and I'm good. All I right. don't care about the economy. Hey, is, wait a minute. Is there any difference? Wait a minute. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a federal program. You don't want to pay... I'm going to pay it off for you. Why don't you pay off my house loan for me there, buddy? Because there's an they asset. They can sell your house, which they're going to one day. They can sell your house, but they can't uh, sell, they can't sell a basket education. Education. Right. 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 Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, question, number three. Number three, Eddie. And yeah, I think me. you might be able to help me on this one, okay? All right. You know, when um, Brubaker, I bought my uh, Telluride uh, through uh, Brubaker's dealership when he was, uh, and his company was owning it, right? Mm-hmm. And I went and bought this extended warranty to pay 700 bucks for it to cover me from the six-year 60 on my Kia. You know about that, Joey. Mm-hmm. And it goes and it goes from six to uh, hundred uh, six year to a uh, 10-year and uh, up to 100,000 miles. Right. And I paid $600 through Zurich. Well, guess what? They bought, a new company comes in, buys them out, and they're no longer accepting that warranty. What? What? Happens all the time. So my question to you, Mr. Brubaker, why didn't you grandfather uh, those, or give us a back our dang money? You took our money, and I, t- I went back to uh, Zurich, and they said, uh, oh, you have to go back to the dealership in which uh, you bought it. I said, well, they sold the company. He says, well, we can't help you on that. Yep. Well, I would now, go give the current owners help. I would continue to give no, them I, well, No, what? You know, I, I thought about that, but I don't think so. You know why? Because when I buy that you know, do you buy them and all their debt with the company when you buy the company? Or did he say, you know what? I made money off these people, and everybody that's got it, they got a database. I believe you buy the it, whole you know? book when you buy a company. Yeah, I mean, well, Including can obligations. To, it can come down to negotiations. Right. right. But but I would think they would honor it. That's kind of ridiculous that they don't. Well, they're not, they're not yeah. going to honor it. You know, Doesn't surprise me. 
If you were in California yeah, so or if you were in Canada, they'd honor it. They have much more stronger uh, consumer rights than we ever will here. Yeah, but then they got people yeah, crapping all the you know, streets. Like, yeah, so. you got to kick hey, turds hey, out of the way, yeah. Hey, uh, that's like, listen here, Tricky Dick. That's like, do, you owe me, do I need to take Tricky Dick to small claims? Good luck. <laughs> I don't have a problem. Not not a good time to go to small claims court either, I don't think. Timing's mm-hmm. not good, it's bad there. No. Not, not good at there. So is that what you think I should do? No. I think you should just. I mean, eat I it. think I get just leave six. Oh, just oh, then Joey, it's just six hundred dollars. See, you big G money, right, Eddie? <laughs> yeah, six hundred yeah, bucks. It. it ain't his money. Just oh, leave just it. Just leave it. Yeah. What did he say? Just leave it. I said just eat it. My guess is. Oh, same there's, thing. There's enough people that'll be end up being a class action deal. Right. right. Just and just possibly, listen for the commercials. Right. Camp right. Lejeune. But in the uh, meantime, remove a rib, bend over, and eat your own. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. <clears <clears <throat> Oh, 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 bend over. Uh, you'd like to assume the position there, Joey, sounds like. Uh, yeah, well. Are you familiar? Oh, uh, no. You... No, I'm not that no, flexible. No, no, I'm not familiar with it. I haven't done okay. that style of yoga. Oh, I, pre- I appreciate that, Joey. I like, I like knowing that. But I just wanted to mention that. I, I, I was just shocked that, you know, I paid something and now it has zero value on the premise that you sold it to me that it would be there. You want to buy a timeshare? <laughs> so stay away from extended warranty. Yeah, and you still got the contract for that thing. Like the, I'm saying, it's probably if it's six hundred bucks. How much do you think it's going to cost to go to court over something like that? You don't think that's built in? Come on. Hey man, you know what? You, you don't know who you're dealing with right here. You're dealing with Mr. Principal here. Captain I'm talking Petty. about the high school. Well, I'm right sorry there. that somebody sold you a pet rock and that you they will gain value over time. <laughs> Want to buy some beans? So, <laughs> so now I ask, I ask the current, I ask the current dealership. So let me ask you a question. So if I buy extended, if I buy a new vehicle, take my car in, get a new vehicle, and I buy one, and I get an extended warranty on it, what's to say that you're going to be gone in two years and that warranty ain't going to be no good either by the next person? Maybe get the factory extended warranty, the one right. Maybe just through Kia out. itself. Oh, they don't have. Or through your, they or have Hyundai the Motor Company. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, I believe not. They don't sell extended warranties. All right. Past the six years. I, I'm, six I'm years already, I'm getting bored with this. I appreciate the call. Thank you. See, so right, when your car breaks down, you won't be bored. <laughs> okay. 600 bucks, just eat it. I'll just walk to work. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm losing weight, baby. Yeah. No, I'm not doubting that. It'd just be funny if I got here. What's Joey doing here? Where's his car? Let's go to Dan. Is this Dan on the line? Hey, Dan. I know this is a chicken man. Oh, chicken, chicken man. man. Hey, chicken man. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. I can make a real quick point because uh, I, I know y'all coming up on a break. Um, we know that the mayor, you know, hires and fires the chief, mm-hmm. you know, do we have any answers why chief Finley left and are the issues, you know, the same with, you know, with Finley and Prince Albert, uh, no, <laughs> Prince Albert, uh, no, I don't think they're the same. In fact, I think Finley has been suing the city saying he was wrongfully terminated. So it, it's a, uh, I don't know how far that case has gotten in federal court. But very different. We still don't really know. Uh, people have their suspicions over why Dara Albert has been placed on leave, but there's been no official reason given. Right. Yet, yet to come. Well, y'all have a good day. Thank you, bud. Thank you, chicken man. Again, 272-9228. That's 334-272-9228. Got to hit a very quick break. Be right back. Want to carry News Talk in your pocket? Download the News Talk 93.1 app from the App Store. Available on iPhone and Android. Never miss a moment. Download now. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Greenwood, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy effective leadership and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights, our values, and our future. God bless you in Alabama, and God bless the USA. I'm Dick Brubaker, and I approve this ad. The premier place the River Region turns to for news, weather, traffic, and opinions. News Talk 93.1 FM WACV. Welcome back to the program. Um, O.J. Simpson has died today at the age of 76, succumbed to cancer. Let's go to Watumka Jeff. Hey, Watumka Jeff. Hey, I don't know whether I'm on top of it or not, but uh, I got two things. What you got? Uh, is uh, Judge Apolitano going to be on tomorrow? Uh, he's only on Tuesdays. Tuesdays at noon. Tomorrow is Tuesday. What? No, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's... 
Oh, wait a minute. Day thir- I'm sorry. Day 30. Okay. Well, when you when you talk to him, would you ask him a question for me? Okay. All right. Uh, they've been riling on Trump about uh, 14-3-3 about uh, insurrection. Mm-hmm. Ask him how come they cannot bring charges against Biden for treason under 14-3-3, which says if you give aid and comfort to the enemy, which he did in Afghanistan when he gave all that equipment to the Taliban, that's giving aid and comfort to the enemy, and that is treason. It sounds uh, about as sound as the legal theory being thrown at Trump. Um, I don't think it'll ever happen. I see where you're coming from. Uh, that was incredibly shameful what happened there in the removal from Kabul in particular. But uh, I don't think this the system's well, so corrupt, we're never going to get anywhere near that, man. No, that's probably true. The second thing is, do you have a website? Uh, do you have an email I can send a video to you that I think you should see? Uh, sure. Let me pull it up here because I don't often uh, use it. Joey Clark Live, all spelled out, Joey Clark Live at gmail.com. Well, I appreciate the call with Tumka Jeff. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Good. I guess he was done. Hey, this is part of the program. He's done with you, Joey. What do you mean? He's done with you. At least he didn't hang up. Don't you love those? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> that really great stuff. This yeah. part of the program brought to you by Bo Goodson and the Goodson Group. And they're at the Goodson Group. Bo and his team are ready to help you out with buying or selling here in the River Region <laughs> real estate market, which Bo has been working in for nearly 50 years, which is uh, pretty incredible. He's getting close to that half a century mark of experience but it's not just buying and selling they can help you with should you want to change a home your regular residence to a more rental investment or mm-hmm. you're investing in rentals great idea in this market but can be a pain in the butt if you don't know what you're doing to manage it yourself so why not for a reasonable fee have the goodson group do it for you and then the goodson group is also the home and this is the crown jewel there of the bo goodson real estate school one of the most highly acclaimed real estate programs in the state well, because people have gone on to great success. Bo is teaching you from that nearly 50 years of experience. Uh, he's been through it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that way you can hit the ground running to find success a lot of people have after graduating, whether as a fully licensed realtor or as a more knowledgeable private player. So check out the Goodson Group today. You can always go to thegoodsongroup.com or give them a call at 5510225. That's 5510225. Bo Goodson and the Goodson Group, great sponsor here of the program. Broadcasting from the Riverside Chevrolet Master Control Center, this is WACV Kusada, News Talk 93.1 FM. When it's Chevy, it's Riverside. With well, SRN News, I'm John Scott. U.S. producer prices rose in March. From a year earlier, it was the fastest pace in nearly a year, offering more evidence that progress against inflation may have stalled this year and raising doubts about whether and when the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates. The Labor Department reports its producer price index, which measures inflationary pressure before it reaches consumers, rose 2.1% last month from March 2023, the biggest year-over-year jump since April 2023. O.J. Simpson, the decorated football star who was acquitted Of charges, he killed his former wife and her friend, but wound up in prison years later on an unrelated case, has died in Las Vegas. On Wall Street, the Dow ahead 24 points, the Nasdaq up 204. This is SRN News. Biden has started tracking Christians like cattle. Yes, you heard it right. He pressured banks to tag transactions for certain keywords. One of them is Holy Bible. It's a horrifying and creepy attack on our religious freedoms. It's made possible by a digital financial system that makes you a sitting duck. But you do have other options. I recommend a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. I'm Lance Wallnow, a news analyst, a best-selling author, and evangelical leader to people who cherish their financial independence. A precious metals IRA can help you avoid the scrutiny of Biden's anti-Christian bureaucracy while also preserving your retirement savings. To find out more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word FAITH to 989898. Birch Gold Group is the only gold company I trust. Get their free info kit and see how a gold IRA can help you. Text FAITH to 989898. There are no strings attached. So text FAITH to the number 989898 right now 
and take action to protect your own prosperity. Rich Thomas Weather, a service of Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, where dump truck drivers are in demand. Wiley Sanders is on the grow. We need dump truck drivers now. Call 855-77-9785. Rich Thomas Weather. Hi, everybody. We've got some brighter days ahead, a great weekend forecast. Today, a transitional day, windy at times, cooler, well, the high near 70. Clouds will dominate most of the time through tonight. Low tonight down to about 50. Tomorrow, Friday, nice start to a great weekend. Lots of sunshine, high 71. We'll be teasing 80 degrees Saturday, near 83 Sunday with more sunshine. Beautiful weekend. Mid-80s are back on Monday. From the Blue Water Weather Center, this is Rich Thomas. John Bobo with Capital Tractor. Spring is time for clearing and cleaning. Time to clean out your shed, too. Let go of old, outdated equipment holding you back and visit Capital Tractor to see your property's full potential. Powering Alabama, Capital Tractor, Montgomery, Brundage, and Greenville. From the Blue Water Broadcasting News Center, here's today's top stories. An Irondale man is facing federal charges that he detonated an explosive device outside the office of the Alabama Attorney General. 26-year-old Kyle Douglas Calvert was arrested Wednesday on charges of malicious use of an explosive. The device was detonated on February 24th at 3.42 a.m. in downtown Montgomery. Montgomery Public Schools announced Wednesday they have named Dr. Gregory King as their new chief academic officer. Dr. King comes to MPS from the University of Washington in Seattle. Dr. King will begin his new role in Montgomery on June 1st. Alabama's public records law could see some enhancements soon. SB 270, proposed by Senator Arthur Orr, would introduce timelines for government agencies to respond to public records requests. The bill is supported by the Alabama Press Association and seeks to make the public records law more effective. From the Blue Water Broadcasting News Center, I'm Sky Mosley. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Alabama Home Mortgage. Alabama Home Mortgage, 567-4223. Visit them on the web at myalabamahomemortgage.com. NMLS number 1586368, an equal housing lender. Hey there, folks. I'm Hannah Grantham. And I'm Eddie Bader. Exciting news. We've joined Forest Meadows Homes and Land. That's right. And with over 16 years of combined experience from Eddie and I, you're guaranteed to receive some of the finest real estate knowledge in the Tri-County area. So why wait? Give me, Hannah Grantham, a call at 334-368-6358. Or reach out to me, Eddie, at 334-322-0662. Let's get you moving. Fresh deals, fresh inventory. Spring savings have sprung at Toyota of Montgomery. And we have a fresh new inventory of the new Toyotas you've been looking for. Take that spring trip in style, comfort, safety, and peace of mind in our huge selection of trucks, SUVs, and sedans. Drive the new 2024 Camry LE and lease for $2.99 a month. Or get low 3.99% APR financing. Bring out of your old car and into a new Toyota. And get up to $2,000 over good value for your trade or check out our fresh new inventory of certified pre-owned toyotas that look drive and even smell brand new just don't wait spring offers end soon at toyota montgomery online at toyotamontgomery.com part of the sutherland automotive group 3.99 percent apr financing for 36 months is 2958 for 1000 finance msrp 30,000 for 36 months with 36 38 to refine zero dollars security deposit with approved credit credit mileage may affect trade value plus tax tag title and 9.95 expires 4:30 Hi, this is Carl Schmidt, naturopath and owner of The Herb Shop. Listen every Saturday to Winning Wellness and learn from experts in different fields of science and technology how nutritional supplements can help you. Listen to Winning Wellness every Saturday at 10 a.m. The views and opinions of the following program are solely those of the host and other contributors. These do not necessarily represent those of Liberty Acquisitions 825, Blue Water Broadcasting, its management, staff, or any advertisers. For Montgomery's conversational radio show, it's news and views on News Talk 93.1 FM. To join the conversation, call 272-9228. After damming politicians uphill and down dale for many years, as rogues, vagabonds, frauds, and scoundrels, 
I sometimes suspect that, like everyone else, I often expect too much of them. This is how you conduct yourself in a democracy. Joey Clark. Welcome back to News and Views in the Afternoon. I'm Joey. He's Eddie. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Eddie? All right. Well, good to have you back today. Missed you some yesterday. Yeah, my arm was in a cast. No, I'm just kidding. I was working just today. real estate stuff? Real estate, Airbnb, life. I'm going to start grabbing that clip from Glenn, Gary Glenn Ross. It's like, here's your leads. <laughs> It's, somebody's got to follow up on the leads, Joey. Then there's negotiations and there's home inspection. There's home inspections that, that don't really show up. is like the, the acting. In that movie's great, but the tour de force of writing by David Bamet, uh, it's just oh, it, even with all the cursing, all that stuff, freaking amazing. Really, yeah, brilliant, really, really good, brilliant playwright. It cuts to it, man. Yeah, like it really it, does. it's just genius writing. Um, I, and I love that that guy is a very conservative fella. I do yeah. love these guys who are like so talented. They break through in Hollywood. Yeah. And then Hollywood finds out, oh, wait, crap. You're just like John Voight. Speaking of that. Hey, was... Lieutenant Dan, you watch it, Gary Sinise. The other night, I know you watched The Kill Tony with Tucker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Winona was there. I saw that. She did not look great. Wasted. Yeah. I mean, just, I can't imagine she remembers being there. Right. And then she tried to get Tucker to drink, drink and Tucker wasn't drink. But he, did you see he wasn't? Nor was William Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, seeing Tucker Carlson in the mix with those comedians from Austin was amazing. Watching his face yeah. as these people, you know, poured out their soul, essentially. He was just right. like, oh, I, can't, I can't believe she's saying this or he's saying this right. or, or that is saying Well, this. and Tucker had some good lines. Like, yeah, he did. Like, he could hang. I'm but like, now, how right. do you think the conversation went when he got back to the hoity-toity world? When he said, man, the things I just saw. See, actually, I, he probably loved it. I know he loved it. There's I no... tend to believe Tucker Carlson that he doesn't, he's not part of the hoity-toity world other than his family. Like, he pretty much is a homebody. Yeah, but this, way out of his element. He's Oh, sure. And Rogan apparently surprised him. Sprung it yeah, on him. He had no on. clue he was coming out on, to sit on stage and be a guest was, panel. It was hysterical. But watching, literally watching Tucker's face as these people did comedy, That's that great. was some of it was really dark, too. Yeah, some of it was bad. And he was just like... Uh, What's well, the okay. whole point of Kill Tony? Yeah. Like most of them are really bad and troubled people, oh, troubled no souls. But and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun to watch. Now, do you remember a fellow by the name of Avenatti? Oh yeah, yeah, Michael Avenatti. Yeah, he's a loser lawyer. The well, he like embezzled millions of dollars, I think, in one deal. You, so he is still in prison. Yeah, right. So you remember that guy? He represented. Horseface Stormy Daniels. Let me guess, Joey. He's turning state to evidence. No, actually. What? He um he called in to MSNBC <laughs> because jail? his Stormy Daniels case is about to start from jail. They took a collect call. They took a call from prison. <laughs> yes, they took a call from prison, and I can't remember who's the guy. I don't know all the people in cable news hardly anymore, except for the hot women. Because I'm that much of a pig. Mm -hmm. uh, some Ari show. Uh, anyway, this is Michael Avenatti. He called in to MSNBC. <laughs> and they're like, let's get his take on this Stormy Daniels, like, hush money case. That's so desperate, man. Desperate for, for a guest. Well, let's listen into him. Uh, the New York trial now will be Donald Trump's first and possibly only trial this year. Um, how do you assess the strength of the prosecution's case? Well, I think what I'm about to say is going to surprise a lot of people, and that is that, um, you know, I think this is the wrong case at the wrong time, Ari. Um, I, I think that the case is in many ways stale at this juncture. You're talking about conduct that occurred some eight years ago. Uh, I think the uh, fact that it's occurring in state court in New York uh, is a mistake. Uh, and I think that when you are going to uh, potentially deprive tens of millions of Americans uh, of their choice for the presidency of the United States, whether we agree with those folks or not, or regardless of what we may think of Donald Trump, I think it's a mistake to do it based on a case of this nature. Hmm. Um, I, I was hoping, <laughs> frankly, that 
uh, there would have been less hand wringing, uh, less bedwetting, and wow. that the January 6th case would have been filed in a more timely manner. There's no excuse or reason as to why that case could Thank not you. have been brought in Thank 2021. You. Right. And it should have been brought in 2021. Yep. And had it been brought in 2021, we would not find ourselves in the situation that we're in right now. Now, I know a lot of people have been critical of the United States Supreme Court, and uh, as well as the second, uh, not the second, but the D.C. Circuit. Yep. You know, I, I think those complaints are frankly misplaced. Wow. I got a hot take on a lawyer that's in jail. Mm-hmm. You are a failure. If you're a lawyer... And your whole job in life is to keep folks out of jail, but you can't keep your own butt out of jail. You're a bit of a failure. Yeah, but what he's saying there is blowing up a lot of the stupid partisan talking points. Kind of reminds me of failure. No, seriously, if you really wanted to go after Trump and thought you could throw him in jail, in prison, Mm -hmm. for, in particular, January 6th, because it was an insurrection. Is this seditionist or Cheeto Mussolini? So they said. Why didn't you bring? You see, and they're not even getting them on. Because it was two weeks in. On it's sedition. Two weeks now. Well, no, but so what they had to do was conspiracy to commit this sort huh. of thing. Which, talking to Judge Knapp, he thinks those laws should just be considered unconstitutional. Conspiracy to do what? Wait, so if you and I plan right, to we like. Plan to do something. Didn't right, do it, but don't we do just it. Planned on right. It. It's like, you know, oh, kittens are going to upset the Matterhorn. I can already think of several things we'd go to jail for right now. Oh, the things we've talked about? Things we've talked about. That's yes. true. That's absolutely. Yeah, but I'm sure any reasonable prosecutor, to quote James Comey, would listen and go, these goofball right. idiots. Right. Imagine, yeah. Especially yeah. that whole phase you went through, there will be blood, Joey. I'm like, whoa, man. Oh, wait, am I over that phase already? <laughs> You've gotten out of it a little bit, and I've gotten out of the phase of threatening to smack you in the face every day. That might come back as we get closer to election days, day. Though, yeah, it might, it might come back. But uh, the guy's take, it's Avenatti. Well, let's have Ramaswamy <sighs> respond to Avenatti. <laughs> the show would be on MSNBC. It would actually more than triple their viewership. I'll tell you this. Is, if you're MSNBC, I just want to pick up on Tyrus's point. Think about it. The best legal analyst you can get <laughs> right. is a lawyer who ended up behind bars. <laughs> it's right my now. point. There it is. There you go, you Eddie. Think about this. That's a pretty big slap in the face to Ronna McDaniel. Okay. Yeah, Eddie. Yeah. Ron and I have had our differences, but at least she's not making calls from the prison paper. <laughs> that is true. And, and, I, and I do think that this guy has been exploited, but at the same time, irrespective of this man, he makes an obvious point in this country. It's amazing how your view of fair trial changes when you're on the other side mm-hmm. of some prison bars. <laughs> But the reality is the whole point of Donald Trump's trials is not that they were supposed to be fair. They were designed to be unfair unfair from the get-go. So if you view this as some kind of technical failure, you wonder what's going on. If you realize this was the point, this is exactly the system working as it should. It has an immune system to one man trying to do everything in their power to keep him out of the White House. And the more they do it, the more people in this country say hell no to that type of lawfare and that we the people get to decide who runs the country. Vivek Ramaswamy. There's a reason I voted for that guy. I got the t-shirt. Uh, shut up, Jesse Waters. You're not a fan of the Waters, are you? No, he's all right. A little too polished for me. He's just okay. He's not my favorite. Yeah. But I don't hate him like I do Kill Me. Kill me. Something about Brian Kill Me just drives me nuts. Mm. Seriously. And then Hannity's just more like, I can respect Sean. Like, what he's accomplished, where he came from, how he's climbed the ladder. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he ain't breaking no new but ground, it, it's man. just, it's not, uh, I'm, uh, no, I get it's, it. it's worn thin Legacy. for me. Definitely worn thin. Like, seriously, the only cable news I see, folks, are these clips we play. What about Newsmax? Or... Don't watch Newsmax either. What? Well, I just get their guests on this show. That's where I thought you were getting them from. Yeah. No. I actually know Judge Napolitano. Yeah? Yeah. I think you do. I see him once a week hanging out with you. Yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a Seems good guy. Good. Hey, this part of the program? Yeah. You know who was also a good guy? Who that? James Cole. Dude, one with of Cole the best. Plumbing. One of the best. Really fantastic person. And, uh, well, they're at Cole Plumbing, that family-owned business. They're ready to help you out with any of your plumbing needs. It could be, you know, you say you have a leak and you're noticing it, like the ceiling sagging. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> or you're sign. in the street down the wall. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, here's the beautiful news with cold plumbing. 
they don't have to tear out a bunch of drywall to solve a problem like that. That's right. With precision and expertise, they can get in there with minimal discomfort to you and your home and solve the issue, including also you got to leak outside. They're not going to have to dig up a huge trench or hole in the yard. They can pinpoint it and figure it out right. for you with this pr- great technology they have. It's pretty ingenious stuff. And, of course, they can help you with everyday plumbing problems like a clogged drain, low water pressure, tree root invasion, just to name a few. Even things like gas line leaks. Yes. They can help you there at Happen cold plumbing. Plan. Or maybe you don't really have like a a problem per se, but your problem is you want to upgrade. You want a nicer thing. So maybe you want a tankless water heater system. You're tired of having the big tank. It's a good idea. Uh, Maybe you want a uh, taller toilet. Some folks, you know, they get up there in age, knees, hips stop working. A taller toilet's a lot more comfortable, a lot more easy to access. And get down on. Exactly right. Or maybe you want to get real fancy, go with a bidet or even like a Japanese toilet or something. Ooh, that'd be nice. It's so, it, it sounds glorious. Yes. Cold Plumbing can help you with all that, folks. So check them out today. Give them a call at 279-8919. That's 279-8919. And just remember when you have trouble with your bowl, call on cold, Joey. That's right, Eddie. Again, 272-9228. If you want to hop in on the program, that's 334-272-9228. Uh, let's go to the comments, shall we? Oh, joy. Gumptown John says, remember when the Democrats were calling for Avenatti to run for president because of this? Dude, I do Pepperidge remember Farm that. remembers. I do remember that. Yeah. Good good pull, Gumptown John. Yeah, that's a good one. He goes on to say, Jesse Waters has a punchable face. Well, so do I, so I can't yeah, really criticize him right for that. Uh, Hannity, a.k.a. the Slumlord, is a whiner, says Sizzling Spam. Or Sam. Why is he a Slumlord? Well, Gumtown John falls up and says, I find Hannity to be too much of an unprincipled shill. Wow. Well, maybe you just aren't identifying his real principles yet, Gumtown John. Okay. He likes them, um, the GOP to do whatever the GOP needs to do. Mm. Romex Angler says, Waters <laughs> is too big of an ass for me to watch. He will bring on guests just to make fun of them. Yeah. There are several of them out there that do that. Yeah, there are a few like that. Yeah. I'm surprised people hadn't caught on to it yet, though. <sighs> but I guess if you're trying to get, you know, your name out there, you got to eat one of them sandwiches every once in a while. Every once in a while, you are correct about that, Eddie. Now, do you remember who David Hawk is? Um, man, that name sounds familiar. I'm going to say it's after the shooting, the shooting, he was the shooting in Florida. Yep, there you go. Like, and I he somehow wasn't there right when the shooter showed up. A lot right. of his classmates died. And he's gone on to be a, a gun control yep. advocate. Yep. Pretty vocal one. Sure. Pays well. Like, have we really gone to, like, young kids like Greta Thunberg and David Hogg? Pays well. Right. How dare you? They're not mercenary. How dare you, Eddie? But David Hogg was apparently in the live free or die state. Isn't that New Hampshire? New Hampshire. Well, Pepperidge Farm remembers. They do remember. Well, there is a particular Chinese immigrant. That stands up and asks David Hogg a question. Oh. Yeah. So I want to share this now with everybody out there in Radio Land and on the live stream. Again, folks, that's Joey Clark live on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends, or you can watch on the Twitter X at the Joey Clark. Let's listen in to this question from a Chinese immigrant to David Hogg. Hi, my name is uh, Lily Tang Williams. Welcome to my live free or die state. Actually, I am a, a Chinese immigrant who survived communism. And under Mao, you know, 40 million people were starving to death after he sold the communism to them. And 20 million people died, murdered during his Cultural Revolution. So my question to you, David, is that can you guarantee me a gun owner tonight? Our government in the US, in DC, were never, never become a tyrannical government. Can you guarantee that to me? There's no way I can ever guarantee that any government will be tyrannical. Well, then the debate on gun control is over because I will never (laughs) give up my guns. Never, never. And you should go to China to see how gun control works for dictatorship of CCP. Woo! Yeah, sometimes it's the legal immigrants, folks, who uh, seem to be the most forceful defenders of freedom. It really is uh, something uh, to behold. Yeah, she just started saying, well, okay, then yeah. you need to shut up the debate on gun control. My first thought, then you need to shut the hell up. 
If you can't guarantee what you're selling, go on then. 272-9228. Let's go to James. Hey, James. Hey. Uh, I was wondering if y'all have heard of something called Benford's Law. Called what? Benford, ben, Benford's Law. Benford's Law? Or Bedford's yeah. Law? It's a mathematical law. Okay. It's if you took all the addresses in the city of Montgomery, mm -hmm. the proportionate number would come out at like 33% one. The, the first, the addresses begin with the number, whatever your address is. Right. That the number would decrease to five, six, seven, three, nine, to a lower number. Mm -hmm. Like nine would be four, four, four. It would begin. That's how many people. Like four hundred thousand would be nine, but it would be like a million. It began with one. But if you took, the, if you look at the election of twenty twenty, and you take the votes, they don't come out. Hmm. They don't add up. The graph is way off skew. Yeah, and I pulled up on you the. Can, you can you can Google it. You can yeah, Google I've, I've pulled up YouTube. on the stream for folks a, a chart uh, of Benford's law. Yeah, that essentially, yeah, the first digit will tend towards one, and it becomes yeah. more unlikely the higher up you go uh, in a base right. ten set. So that that and so you're saying the election in 2020 pretty much defied this mathematical rule. Yeah, wow. You should look at look it up. Google it. Google it. You can, and it will blow your mind. Because they take, like Alabama came out right. If you go to Atlanta or Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, they're all up to you. The, one, the ones that stop counting votes in the middle of the night. Yep. You just, look, look at that as, as a maid. It's a maid. Well, I'll, uh, I'll and, continue and, to look into it. I appreciate the uh, the recommendation. All right. Thank you, James. Good talking to you, Joey. Thank you, sir. 272-9228. Hey, uh, fellas, this part of the program brought to you by Montgomery Men's Health. And they're at Montgomery Men's Health. You know, two things can happen to us men, Eddie, as we get older. One that's a little more, like, uh, embarrassing, mm -hmm. but you shouldn't be ashamed of it, is erectile dysfunction. Okay. And, you know, there could be a lot of underlying causes to that erectile dysfunction, sure. including something like low testosterone. Could be. That's right. But Joe. these are not things to deny, put off, or again, don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed about it, and don't wait to get it fixed. No, there are no reason to wait. Medical professionals, doctors ready to help you when it comes to those issues. And I know guys hate going to the doctor, I'm that way, but Montgomery Men's Health was created for fellas just like us. In fact, I was there yesterday to get some blood work done. Yeah. And it took me 10 minutes. It was that quick. In and out. Yeah. And it didn't even hurt. Are you one to, we'll continue with that in a second, excuse me. Are you one to watch when they draw blood? Yeah, yeah me too. I like and to see when they're sticking. Me too. And a funny thing enough, I usually ask the uh, vampires when they're doing that, how many people pass out? They told me more often than really? not. That's and nuts. also more men than women. Really? See, I kind of, I like to I watch. watch. I'll put it that way. Got to watch. That's where I learned about the whole dehydration rule too, by the way. Mm. You're good and dehydrated. They have a hard time finding a vein. And I've been going there for low T yeah. issues. Um, but you know, there are other issues, like I was saying, and the reality is, you know, all those pills people throw out there, yeah, pills quit working. They do. Build up and tolerance. you know, guys start making excuses for not coming to bed. There are actually studies that show men will be more irritable and argumentative right before, you know, bedtime, right? Just to avoid failing at intimacy. Interesting. Just start a fight, you know? Mm -hmm. So guys, if you're lacking motivation, energy, drive, including a decrease in sex drive, seeing unwanted weight gain, loss of muscle mass, or maybe you just feel like you're walking through your life in a fog, knowing whether or not you have low T is huge in combating some of these issues. And the providers there at Montgomery Men's Health can conduct a testosterone focused lab workup plus a consultation for only $99. And they have low T treatments there at Montgomery Men's Health that can truly change lives. Men can experience higher energy, better gains in the gym, brother, brother, sorry, brother, better mental clarity, improved sleep patterns, a faster metabolism. You usually even notice an increased libido. 
So you can actually book the same day at your call, and it's time to hit your goals this year, fellas. Time to feel good again. That number, 440-3663. That's 440-3663. Or go to MontgomeryMensHealth.com to book your appointment today. He may not know whether he's coming or going. But whether you're going to work or coming home, Greg Budell is there. Mornings, 6 till 9, and afternoons, 3 till 6. Only on News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. Honey, did you call an electrician to put in that new bathroom outlet? No, I thought I'd just get Cousin Ray. He's not a real electrician. Oh, Ray's handy. He can do anything. Being handy and being an electrician are two different things. Electricity is complicated and potentially dangerous. Each year, there are thousands of home fires caused by faulty wiring. You need an expert. To wear the Crosby Electric uniform, you have to undergo background checks, drug testing, continuing education, and rigorous safety training. When you need electrical work or be just like someone to assess your home for safety, call the experts at Crosby Electric. So, how about that nice outlet Ray installed in the bathroom? Do you think it's safe? It's fine. See, when I plug in my electric razor, it... Now the lights are out. I am not sleeping a wink until you get Crosby Electric out here. Don't take chances with electricity. Call the experts at Crosby Electric, 272-2085, or visit us at CrosbyElectric.com. What's your biggest investment? More than likely, it's your home. So treat it that way when you hire a painting contractor. PBS Painting, there are no gimmicks. No $99 special. Just quality painting and someone who treats your home with the same respect that you do. At PBS Painting, we have been painting for years and look forward to many more years to come. With PBS Painting, the job gets prepped properly, whether it's cleaning, scraping, or priming. We always use quality products, which is a must for a quality paint job. So if you're looking for a painter that doesn't need upfront money and is on the job at all times, please give me a call. Scott Bowers and PBS Painting, 294-5122. That's PBS Painting, 294-5122. Look at some of our work on Facebook at PBS Painting Montgomery. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Greenwood, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy, effective leadership, and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights, our values, and our future. God bless you in Alabama, and God bless the USA. I'm Dick Brubaker, and I approve this ad. Are you tired of the mainstream media's biased reporting? Do you want to stay informed on the news that really matters to you? Look no further than 1819 News. At 1819 News, we bring you the latest in Alabama news, politics, sports, culture, and more. We've assembled a team of journalists with Alabama values dedicated to the truth and the truth alone. Visit us at 1819news.com today. That's 1819news.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Honest News, Alabama Values. The Health and Wealth Show. The Health and Wealth Show. The show so nice, we said it twice. Weekday evenings at 6 on News Talk 93.1 WACV. The Health... Wake it up, son. Joke's over, hey? This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Alabama Home Mortgage. Alabama Home Mortgage, 567-4223. Visit them on the web at myalabamahomemortgage.com. NMLS number 1586368. An equal housing lender. Trustworthy, accurate, immediate. Carrying your voice across the river region. News Talk 93.1 FM WACV. Joey Clark. Welcome back. Oh, there's our buddy Peter St. On. I like that guy. You like that look? I've been thinking about getting a tie like that. No, you keep your hair. <laughs> no, I, I'm not oh, going oh, bald. The, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, and... you know, white shirt with the, kind of the, the polka dot on the navy tie. It comes uniform after a while. Yeah? Yeah. When I... did you ever had to wear a suit every day? Oh, believe it or not. Let's see. Um, 
Worked at a record store for several years. What? You had, had to wear a suit at a we record store? We had to wear store? a tie every freaking day. So I bust out, you know, it was late 80s, early 90s, so I'd bust out the skinny tie. But I hated that. A um, couple jobs I had to wear, dress up. And, you know, I used to, and then went to Hyundai, you had to wear a uniform. Well, me oh, being right. the natural rebel, I'm like, I hate wearing the uniform. And no. I leave Hyundai, I'm like, man, I'm, I miss the simplified days of just wearing yeah, 12 a 12 years of Catholic school. Yeah. And from kindergarten through 12th grade, there is always a uniform, and I hated the uniforms. I was the same way at Hyundai. Hated them. Right. And, and then it's we like, had could really you double. tuck your shirt in? And right. it's like, oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, it's like, sorry, I was sitting down at the desk, and I didn't know it was untucked, Teach. Do you want me to know the board or not? That These are things good. I wanted to say, but I was a good boy back then. Yeah. But now that I'm older and I have to dress myself, yeah. I kind of... I kind of have a uniform, you know what I mean? I'm telling you. I'm you telling have your main go-tos. It's yeah. easy. You don't want to put, unless you're like a fashionista or. Well, the thing is, I used to not care until mm. now we do this show and we're on TV. So I had to, oh, I yeah. wore that shirt a couple days ago. Maybe we need to ago. bring back the being suited and booted all the time. I don't know about all that. I thought we could just bring back somebody that would clothe us. Like, mm. you know, like back in the day, it was gayfers. They would, they would put clothing on the people. Gayfers. Well, I, I can't think of a, a recent one, but. Le oh, no, that was even older. I was going to say Lamont's, but that's... <laughs> Lamont's. That's even older. Wow. Yeah. But, you know... Uh, Dillard's is still around. Dillard's. There you go. High-class places, they dress their personalities. Mm -hmm. so, and, because they look at us and go, this is why personalities shouldn't dress themselves. Right. That's true. <laughs> it's. I'll admit it. Yeah. It's true. Hey, do you want to check in on uh, one of our senators? We played uh, Tupperville yesterday. You want to... By the way, Napolitano kept playing the same clip. I can bring it up if you haven't heard it, where Tupperville's talking to Lloyd Austin. And Napolitano, I got it. well, I call him Napolitano. It's Napolitano. Apparently, the first time he said Senator Tuberville. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the time he's introduced in this clip, he calls him Tuberville. I'm like, sir, Tuberville. you got it right the first time. You, you Yankees up there <laughs> calling Coach Tuberville. Tuberville. Give From Hooterville? Break. Just give me a break that but uh right. instead of coach yeah here is uh, the junior senator katie Britt. this is in i guess at a homeland security appropes appropriations uh, committee hearing and uh, let's listen in together All right. once again his this administration has proposed cutting the dhs base budget mm -hmm. the fy 25 presidential budget request would cut base dhs funding by more than 1.25 billion a reduction of two percent from the fy 24 levels at a time when our country undoubtedly faces a national security and a humanitarian crisis of historic proportions at our southern border this is completely nonsensical Considering that President Biden has proposed increasing the EPA budget by roughly 20%, it clearly shows where this administration's priorities are. <clears throat> it is clear that this administration's budget requests in recent years are designed to merely manage the border crisis it created and will not actually solve the problem. Nor will border policy legislation that doesn't take away President Biden's ability to continue to abuse tools and loopholes that fuel and facilitate the entry of inadmissible aliens into the United States, including the unprecedented abuse of the presidential parole authority. The truth is, is that we have a president who could take executive action, and if he wanted to, he would. If reports that we're seeing today are accurate, the president has finally, after over 1,100 days, and to his administration, admitted that he does have the authority. Unfortunately, rather than reversing course, this inadequate budget request for the Department of Homeland Security only doubles down on the failed policies of the last three years. Across the board, the administration is failing to put its money where it matters. Well, there you go. Her hair looked wonderful. Really, that's your takeaway from that? Yep. It's not a comment on the increased budget for the EPA being proposed by the Biden administration. No. It's not a comment on, you know, her Senator Britt calling out Joe Biden nah. on, you know, how he's not enforcing the border laws and actually abusing loopholes. Right. And now he's claiming, well, I need legislation. To do. That's not your takeaway. No, your no. takeaway is her hair is captivating. It looked really good. I don't know what she's got going on, but she needs to keep that up. That hair looks silky smooth. I like the curls at the bottom. She's looking amazing. 
Let's let's check that out. Let's just look at the hair. I mean, look at the Actually, curls yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, that that plays. Yeah. My hair used to be that long. Yeah, it did, but hers looks amazingly better. Oh yeah, mine was nasty, man. Yeah, her looks like it was it's actually combed and brushed and conditioned. Anyway, let's go to line one. You're on there. Who's this? Hey Joey, how are you and Eddie doing? Doing all right, David. How, how you, you doing? doing, Dave? Excellent. You know, I really expect if Biden's numbers keep floundering like they are, I expect him to take some kind of significant action and maybe September, early October concerning the border just to try to bolster his mm. numbers in the last few weeks before the election. Do you think it'll be a, a, a I know it's going to be a, a fake attempt, but you think he'll actually do something yeah. or just kind of go, hey, we're, we're, we're taking action now, but nothing really happened? I think he'll take some, some action to maybe slow the flow mm -hmm. into the country, at least thinking that he can just basically let it go again, open up the faucet if he gets reelected. Yeah. Now, you, you think I he'll think do that, it? I think that he will do that. You think he'll do that by paying the uh, Mexican president that money? Uh, mm -hmm. I think he'll probably go ahead and do that. That would not surprise will. me. That's do you what think I some of like. this is Biden in old age projecting, say, some certain ailments that happen at a certain age? Like, I'd imagine in his case, you're always trying to increase flow, where flow is usually oh, stopping. I thought you meant oh, I thought you meant something like syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> Is is that a canker sore? <laughs> I have not read his physical report from. Uh... Hey, you, don't, you don't like you don't like you don't like the song says uh, you know Roto Rooter that's your name you just flush your troubles down the drain. Yeah. You know, if I could nerd out for a second, I, I do appreciate reading. I've tried to read a few times. Let's spake Zarathustra by Frederick Nietzsche. Okay, and it's very clear as you, the man's brilliant. He can in these aphorisms he can say yeah. a hell of a lot, but oh, yeah. there are moments where you're like this guy clearly has syphilis. And he also, <laughs> apparently, he, like, had his heart broken by a, a female dandy named Salome. Yeah. And you could tell he hates women in that book. And I'm like, dude, oh, you yeah. need to get over her. How do you tell someone clearly had syphilis? I've never, never had that thought in my life about someone. <laughs> this person here? No, clearly. He, clearly. Clearly, he's going insane, man. Yeah. How, so. I get that, but how, how did you determine that must be syphilis? Just read the book. <laughs> I got no time, but okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. See you, David. You, David. Man, that guy there, he ain't crazy. He's got syphilis. <laughs> no, he is crazy <laughs> because of the syphilis. All right, I'll work on that. Right, do we still have the billboard? I don't know. Out I there on 85? Uh, I actually got to go to Auburn tomorrow, so I'll check it on the way back. Welcome to Montgomery. <laughs> Pay attention to the syphilis, yeah. the silent killer. We, we sponsor that. That's what kills me. We sponsor that. No, we don't have a good STD right here in this part of the world. No, we don't. Which you would think, you know, with it being so religious, ostensibly now, religious. It's funny. Um, I asked my buddy in Jamaica about this one time because Jamaicans are very religious. Sure. But he, like he told me, he said, on the outside they are. Oh, and really? Said, but in reality. No. And I think that's the way it is down here. In the yeah, South well, no, and that's the old joke. What the preacher, you invite them over dinner, yeah. you take your fried chicken and your and woman. your wife, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hide your diamonds, mm -hmm. hide your fine china, hide yep. your daughters. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know if that's because uh, the lack of, we don't talk about it openly, or if it's just taken as a given it's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Well, so we should just give in to the left and, like, say no, that we're repressed, and, like, so we now need to just celebrate sex. I think that's what some people's line are, is just give in. Why are you fighting it? Mm. Just give in. Or you could, you know, live better. Right. But, man, it sure is easy. Just give in. Well, and you don't have to take my word for it or Eddie's word for it or any holy roller that's out there like, oh, you, you're going to burn in the fires of hell. You could just, you know, listen to that thing called your conscience. Yep. You got one, right? Well, not some of the political class, psychopathic, mm -hmm. sociopathic, narcissist. <sighs> not everybody has that internal monologue, though. Oh, I know. It's kind of creepy, actually. Is, is your internal monologue your own voice? Yes. Well, and also sometimes imagery, sometimes mm -hmm. music. A lot of imagery. Uh, I, sometimes it really is music. Like, I just can't help myself. I've heard of people that don't have an internal monologue. I've never met anybody, but that kind of blows me away.
Yeah. It just, oh, it's definitely to write. I have to. It's yes, me exactly. kind of having a conversation you have with myself. To, right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you know, it's oftentimes just therapy. So you're not talking to yourself. You're being creative. <laughs> being creative. <laughs> talking to myself. I'm just being creative. There's Joey being creative again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, this part of the program brought to you by Alabama Home Mortgage. And they're at Alabama Home Mortgage, Kim Williams, and the lovely and talented Madeline Can. They're both lovely and talented, by the way. Uh, they're ready to help you whether you're looking to buy a home, especially if you're a first-time home buyer. Kim and Madeline love walking folks through the process. It all starts with pre-approval. You don't want to skip that step. And you also don't want to just go to any place, any old place, and be like, oh, yeah, you're pre-approved. No, go to the gold standard when it comes to mortgage brokers here in the River Region. That's Alabama Home Mortgage. And even if it's your not your first time, you want to deal with folks that you can actually sit down with, get to know, they get to know you, your goals in owning a home. Or maybe you're looking to refinance. All the rage these days, with, especially where credit card debt is. My goodness, the APR is uh, getting absurd. And, you know, some folks have been stretched thin. So if you've got equity built up in your home, you can unload that credit card debt. Or it could be you have no debt problems. You just want to reinvest in your property, reinvest in your family. It's your money, your equity built up in the home. You can use it how you wish. And, of course, Kim and Madeline there at Alabama Home Mortgage are ready to help you do just that. So give them a call today. That's 567-4223. That's, again, 567-4223. Or visit them on the web at myalabamahomemortgage.com. There is a difference in mortgage companies. Let Kim and Madeline prove that to you today. NMLS number 1586368. An equal housing lender. We'll be right back. Want to carry News Talk in your pocket? Download the News Talk 93.1 app from the App Store. Available on iPhone and Android. Never miss a moment. Download now. In Alabama, more than 200,000 of our family members and friends are living without health coverage. Often folks can't stay healthy enough to keep their jobs. We need to fix this. It's time for us to find a way to close the health care coverage gap so that folks can remain in their jobs. Where there's a priority out there, we as Alabamians have always found a way to achieve it. Contact Governor Kay Ivey and let her know. Now is the time to close the coverage gap and cover Alabama. Paid for by the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network. The Tears family has been your local roto rooter service since 1964. Drain cleaning, plumbing repair, and those troublesome septic tanks, no problem. Technology has changed a bit in the last 54 years. Video inspections of lines to locate problems is available, as well as scheduling your appointment online. River Region residents have trusted roto rooter for over half a century. You can, too. Call today at 272-7130 or visit online at rotorooteralabama.com. Call roto Rooter, that's the name. And legal troubles down the drain. Roto Rooter. The Sunken Tractor Cafe on Maherg Road, Wetumpka, has your favorites like garlic butter burgers, Euros Rubens, and brisket sandwiches. The fryer for French fries, appetizers, and desserts. Plus beer and wine. Thursday through Saturday from 11 to 7. Sunken Tractor on Facebook for all the happenings. Now you can add the power of digital advertising to the number one reach of radio. Let Blue Water's 20 years of local advertising and marketing success show you how. Grow your business with a complete suite of digital solutions combined with the reach of the most listened to radio group in the River Region. Call us or go to BlueWaterBroadcasting.com to find out how we can increase your return on investment. Blue Water Broadcasting, local folks helping local business. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Alabama Home Mortgage. Alabama Home Mortgage, 567-4223. Visit them on the web at myalabamahomemortgage.com. NMLS number 1586368, an equal housing lender. Weather is brought to you by the Johnny Adams Law Firm. I'm Johnny Adams with the Johnny Adams Law Firm, Alabama's personal injury law firm. Wishing you a fabulous day and a blessed evening. Stay weather alert. Hi, everybody. We've got some brighter days ahead, a great weekend forecast. Today, a transitional day, windy at times, cooler, well, the high near 70. Clouds will dominate most of the time through tonight. Low tonight down to about 50. Tomorrow, Friday, nice start to a great weekend. Lots of sunshine, high 71. We'll be teasing 80 degrees Saturday, near 83 Sunday with more sunshine. Beautiful weekend. Mid-80s are back on Monday. From the Blue Water Weather Center, this is Rich Thomas. 
For the lowest prices around on flooring and DIY flooring installation supplies, Budget Floors and More is your new best friend. Luxury vinyl plank, carpet, ceramic tile, floor installation supplies, and more with prices lower than the big box stores. Budget Floors and More, Hunter Lane, across from Delray to Publix. Headlines the mainstream media won't touch. Your News Talk Station. News Talk 93.1 FM WACV. Joey Clark. Welcome back to News and Views in the afternoon. Oh, where did Jess go? Call us back, Jess. Let's go to Red Top. Hey, Red Top. What up, Red Top? Red Top? Red Top, are you there? Red Top. Duke. Hello, Duke. Mm, Red Top didn't show up. He was Uh, in a movie. He's late or something. I don't know. Okay, okay. Now, 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 did I hear you right? Now, now, tell me more about this uh, ear board that got about the uh, Simpsons or something. I don't know if it's still there, but it was there for years. Yeah, when you come in on 85, uh, coming into Montgomery. Like 85 Southbound. Mm-hmm. Be a big sign there. It says, Syphilis. The silent killer. And then literally. Oh, it was a whole year. Oh, oh, it was a whole year. I thought they were talking about this, this, this brand new stuff they hit a few months ago, you know. Putting us now seven. Oh, I don't know. I just, I remember that was like literally 100 feet from the Welcome to Montgomery <laughs> sign. Okay. And I always thought that's not a great way to promote Montgomery. I know, boy. Well, and, and I'm, I'm looking at a uh, U.S. News of War report uh, ranking here, Duke, and it says Alabama ranks sixth among the states for the highest rate of sexually transmitted diseases. Hmm. What y'all mm-hmm. doing, Joe? What's your, what's your generation doing, man? Come on, Joe. Uh, I don't think it's Joe, my generation. Joe's abstinence guy. So Who's Alabama's, your, your what, Alabama's total STD rate is 989.6 per 100,000. So Almost enjoy one, what? You make your family. So, 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 so in order for you to make your family grow like your family friends want you to do so, sir, uh, you need to move to Arizona somewhere, you know, right long now. If you want no nice. Quiet and, and nice women out of Arizona. Right along now, sir. That's where you need to move. Why don't you say what you're going to say? What's, uh, um, <laughs> there are some hot women in Arizona. I don't know if Arizona State University. I don't know if you've ever been I by there. Right. I seen a bunch of them on TV last night, buddy. Oh, and, uh, Lord. You need to go get you one of those with the thighs in the hand, you know TV. <laughs> Well, and Biden made some comment of, I'm the guy who wants to move into the 21st century. I actually exist. And it's like, uh, can we stop it with this game of everything that's like new is good? Right. Clearly, well, is got these women right. pissed off, boy. These women pissed off right long now, boy. They ain't got a oh, oh, that green lady riding the speaker in the house, you know. Oh, Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor, Taylor Green. Well, yeah. well, well you know, Duke, women, I'm a little women. upset with her. I like Mike Johnson. I think he's a strong Christian man these, and you know MTG. These, these women not listening. These are the women not listening to Katie Pritt for some reason. Katie sees you need to sit at the kitchen table now. Well, I have so, to say, you know, with the exception of Senator Britt, these women in Congress are out of control. I agree with you, dude. Yeah, man, this girl. I mean, how many speakers y'all going to go through? Uh, uh, until we get the right one. As many like Alabama as we football need. Coach is going to be going yep. through them until they get the right one. <laughs> be like Auburn football. Get it right now. Auburn football. Uh, <laughs> um, by the way, folks, O.J. Simpson died today at the age of 76. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, O.J. Simpson. Yep. Most people live to the day. I know. Well, that's 76, so that's still a pretty good age, man. Yeah, that's not bad. Especially yeah. for a killer. Yeah. Man. For a murderer. Do you do so what's been going on, fellas? So what's been going on, Mr. Joe? I, I, I've been missing the next for two or three days. So what's up? Oh, we've interviewed a lot of candidates. Uh, Dick Brubaker, Caroline Dobson. Mm-hmm. Did you vote in the Republican or Democrat primary, Duke? Hello, caller. Nope. Are you there? Did you vote? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. So you can now vote in whatever runoff you like. You could go with uh, Shamari Figures against uh, 80, Anthony Daniels, or right. you could go with, you could well, even like, vote like in the Republican Anthony. one between Caroline and Dick. I like Anthony, man. I like Anthony a little bit. He, he, he gets stuff done. Actually, I enjoyed, uh, We I have my disagreements with the man, of course, but I thought 
it was gracious of him to show up in the studio. Oh, certainly it was. It was good getting to know him. Yeah. I like to hear people say what they're going to get done, you know? Right. You know, he helped the people out at Hyundai, you know, the overtime, they're slaving people for all that overtime. Want to tax that, that, money was, too. that was a good law. I, I, that should be a nationwide yeah. thing, to be so, quite honest. But You know, I, I, I give him respect for that, and other people are not talking about anything. they talking about, <clears throat> I don't know, things they can't control. You know, but anyhow. I'm not, I'm not hey, going to hey, talk about politics. Hey, dude, today. did I, you did you watch the eclipse? I ain't. I watched that stuff too hot, really. Really? I no, thought, I, I thought you'd have been a guy that kind of tuned into that. <laughs> no, yeah, I know, dude. He doesn't like to look up. Yeah, do nothing for me, really. You know. I see. Nah, it, I mean, I, I I went outside just to just to just to see, but it it got it didn't get dark for me. I wanted to see it get dark. You yeah, know? you're right. It, it, man, you know, it, it got a little, a little hazy, but that's about it. It's kind of like uh, Prince said, 1999, when the world was coming to the end and everybody went by the generator, 1,500 generators at the house and everything, mm-hmm. you know. It's overkill, you know. But this part of the world, anyway, we, we can't see that stuff like we need to see it. So, I'm, how about glad, it? I'm glad you didn't buy into the hype. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, but now some I, people get really. You know, I I don't have nothing against people that really love that kind of stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. No, I had I watched uh, some rabbit holes last night where people after the eclipse they use the eclipse as like a healing and they uh, kind of get all the toxins out and they start felt like they started anew after the eclipse. Never knew that kind of stuff existed. I just thought it was. Bye, Eddie. Day. Before I, now, Eddie. Before I let you go, sir, I'm not letting you get off the hook, sir. Uh, what I do now? You got in your little. Have you got your little matching uh, gold tennis shoes to match your Bibles you bought from? Uh, I can't afford them, the man. Guy from Queens. I got. Uh, I got to wait for the next hot thing he puts out because the Bibles, if you go no, on eBay, they're like, already like one hundred eighty six bucks. Now. Get your pair of those sneakers. Now. I can't afford them. I can't afford. Well, you them. bought the Bibles and all that. Well, I got Come the on. Bible at the wholesale price price of eighty nine ninety nine plus tax, but uh, those he, shoes he, 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 I wasn't quick enough. He let you get a, you know, buy a pound, get a pound free, probably, you know. Wow. Right long now. Nah, he's a smart businessman. You got to pay straight cash for him. <laughs> straight cash. No discount. Yeah. No family discount. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> and I'm always going to laugh when I think about those old gold tennis shoes, boy. I, I, I can't help but to laugh about that right there. Well, and did you see the latest Trump viral video, Duke? Nah. Where oh, he uh, he did a surprise visit oh, in yes. ATL. At, at, at the Chick fil A. At the Chick fil A. Huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, he did. He stopped in Atlanta at a Chick fil A and the folks just loved him. Like, here, actually, we've got the clip here. Let's uh, listen in together. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Duke, you, I know you can't see it, but he literally, as he goes up to the counter, he does the hand thing with, mm-hmm. with like the hands up and then spread them apart. Can I get 30 milkshakes and a little bit, some chicken? We're going to go out, going to give some to folks and we're going to take some for ourselves. And y'all are looking, you like working here? You look beautiful. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. I think Trump could win this election just taking trips to fast food restaurants. Yeah. That was a very American thing yesterday. You don't see now, Biden doing that, do you? Now. <laughs> now, I got to tell me a joke now, because folks folk get pissed off with what I'm about to say, though. But uh, All right, now, bring I got to say what I got to say right now. Uh, now, Trump know how to work us now. He 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 he, he feeding us some chicken. Now, you need that watermelon truck to back up to the back door. He'd be all right. Chick-fil-A doesn't day. serve watermelon, so you can't go there. I said he could have had the watermelon truck back up to the, to the It's not even door. seasoned and, right uh, now. Well, 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 what's wrong with watermelon? Him? I love it. That's good. Yeah. It's like a melon, and it's watery. Mm-hmm. Delicious. You ever plugged one with a bottle of, like, 151? <laughs> I've never plugged <laughs> it. When I you said that at first, I, I didn't think you were talking about, you're talking about alcohol. <laughs> no, not American ago. Pie, Joey. Reading that brought that up. Somebody, I said something about a watermelon a few weeks ago. Somebody called in and said I shouldn't say it. Say nothing about the watermelon. White guy Why? said I should talk about it. Ah, they take they they take things out of context when I joke about race and Ridiculous. different other things on this show. They take it out of context and 
say I shouldn't say it. Hey, but I'm gonna say what I want to say. Well, and also, okay. like I've lived here my whole life, everybody loves chicken and watermelon yeah. down here. Give yeah. me a break. I know, but yeah, yeah, but but you know, we always, you know, you know, the past our history about you know the, the jokes they said about us about oh, that. I'm but sure, some people yeah. take yeah. it too seriously when I when I talk about it from a black perspective and joke about it. Some of the white callers get you offended know, is about you shouldn't say that. Just make them uncomfortable. Just make them uncomfortable. I know, but that's well. That's well. Well, white guilt gets, creeps up on them. Make them uncomfortable. That's what it is. You make them stare at the man in the mirror. Yep. Oh, I haven't thought that a long time ago, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking I'm them to change, to change their change. ways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's make a change. Hey, man, mm-hmm. I know, but uh, I'm gonna be all right though. I love you guys. I love everybody on the show. I tell you that right now. Well, we love you too. Yeah. I love you, Duke. All the, all the white callers, and oh, I love you guys. Y'all know that. It's like a reading rainbow episode. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Duke. Appreciate you guys. See you, brother. 272-9228. Again, that's 334-272-9228. Oh, look, I got to hit another very quick break here. We'll be right back. He may not know whether he's coming or going. But whether you're going to work or coming home, Greg Budell is there. Mornings, 6 till 9, and afternoons, 3 till 6. Only on News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Greenwood, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy effective leadership and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights our values and our future god bless you in alabama and god bless the usa i'm dick brubaker and i approve this ad we get montgomery talking 24 hours a day the river region's most trusted voice news talk 93.1 fm wac so i'm gonna try this again let's go to red top hey red top Red Top, are you there? I gotta go with no. He was complaining that I wouldn't take his call. You wouldn't take his call for three days, Joe. I tried to take your call twice. Three damn days. I know. But how about this? We do have a, a break. Okay. And uh, call us back, Red Top. And if you want to join the show, that's 334-272-9228. Or you can go to the used to. Yeah, watch on the end. Comment. Comment, on. baby. Comments are, are hot. <clears throat> we'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Riverside Chevrolet Master Control Center, this is WACV Kusada, News Talk 93.1 FM. When it's Chevy, it's Riverside. With SRN News, I'm John Scott. A federal judge ruling that Democratic U.S. Senator Bob Menendez and his wife will be tried separately on allegations they participated in a bribery scheme. The senator's trial will remain scheduled for May 6th in Manhattan Federal Court while his wife's was tentatively pushed back to July due to treatment she requires for a serious medical condition. Former football star O.J. Simpson has died of cancer. He was 76. In health news, measles cases exploding. There have been 17 times as many U.S. measles cases in the first three months of this year compared with the average number seen in the first three months of the previous three years. National vaccination rates, those rates are well below where they should be. This is SRN News. Our government has engorged itself on borrowed money. Now we are over $30 trillion in debt. If this bubble finally implodes, many Americans would be left penniless and heartbroken. For example, what happens if state and federal pension funds go broke? Or if 401ks and IRAs get cut in half due to hyperinflation? Hi, I'm Lance Wallnow, news analyst, best-selling author, and evangelical leader to millions of people just like you. People who understand something big is coming. Now's the time to prepare with a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. Precious metals are among the most proven hedges you can make. And they're even better inside a tax advantage account. To get a free info kit on gold IRAs, text the word FAITH, F-A-I-T-H, to 989898. Birch Gold Group is the only gold company I trust. Get their free info kit and see why a gold IRA can help you. There are no strings attached, so just text FAITH to the number 989898 right now, and I pray you are blessed with continued prosperity. Rich Thomas Weather, a service of Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, where dump truck drivers are in demand. 
Wiley Sanders is on the grow. We need dump truck drivers now. Call 855-77-9785. Hi, everybody. We've got some brighter days ahead, a great weekend forecast. Today, a transitional day, windy at times, cooler, well, the high near 70. Clouds will dominate most of the time through tonight. Low tonight down to about 50. Tomorrow, Friday, nice start to a great weekend. Lots of sunshine, high 71. We'll be teasing 80 degrees Saturday, near 83 Sunday with more sunshine. Beautiful weekend. Mid-80s are back on Monday. From the Blue Water Weather Center, this is Rich Thomas. John Bobo with Capital Tractor. Got a lot of jobs to do this spring? Save now on Kubota's BX23S Tractor Loader and Backco Combo at Capital Tractor and check off that to-do list. Powering Alabama, Kubota and Capital Tractor, Montgomery, Brundage, and Greenville. 1819 News. The Alabama Ethics Commissioner has resigned from his position after a conflict was pointed out by the sponsor of a bill that changes Alabama ethics laws. Stan McDonald announced his resignation as ethics commissioner this week after State Representative Matt Simpson said that McDonald broke current ethics laws by contributing to political candidates. McDonald says he's stepping down in order to own up to his actions, even though he says the breach of those ethics laws were unintentional. This whole issue started last week on the radio when McDonald was a guest on FM Talk 1065 Automobile and he lambasted Simpson for his proposed changes to state ethics laws. Simpson responded later that same day on radio to McDonald's comments by pointing out that existing ethic laws show him in violation for partisan political activity and contributions. McDonald did not deny his engagement in those activities and says his resignation is called doing the right thing. I'll be back with more Alabama stories after this. I'm Amy Beth Shaver with Alabama Unfiltered Radio, and when I need the news and I need it fast, I turn to Andrea Tice and the Daily Detail. On my way in, it is the most convenient, best way for me to digest what's going on so that I can use it for our show. She tells you what's going on in Alabama that day first and fast. So listen to The Daily Detail with Andrea Tice. Don't miss out. The Daily Detail is available wherever podcasts are found. A crash of a Department of Corrections van in Tallapoosa County has killed two inmates and injured five others. The van crashed in Dadeville on Wednesday. Willie Creighton and Bruce Clements are identified as the inmates who died from injuries sustained in that crash. The van was headed to the Alex City Community Base facility. I'm Andrea Tice. For more news affecting Alabamians, go to 1819news.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the daily newsletter. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Cole Plumbing, 279-8919. Cole Plumbing is number one in the number two business. You don't have to dig a hole. They have proprietary pipelining technology. Ask them about their tankless water heaters. Remember, when you have trouble with your bowl, call on Cole. Fresh deals, fresh inventory. Spring savings have sprung at Toyota of Montgomery. And we have a fresh new inventory of the new Toyotas you've been looking for. Take that spring trip in style, comfort, safety, and peace of mind in our huge selection of trucks, SUVs, and sedans. Drive the new 2024 Camry LE and lease for $2.99 a month. Or get low 3.99% APR financing. Bring out of your old car and into a new Toyota. And get up to $2,000 over book value for your trade or check out our fresh new inventory of certified pre-owned toyotas that look drive and even smell brand new just don't wait spring offers end soon at toyota of montgomery online at toyotamontgomery.com part of the sutherland automotive group 3.99 percent apr financing for 36 months is 29.53 for 1,000 finance msrp 30,958 12,000 miles per year for 36 months with 3638 due to signing zero dollar security deposit with approved credit because of the air air and mileage may affect trade value plus tax tag title and 995 it expires 4 30 24 Come see how you can drive a new Lexus from Lexus of Montgomery today. Drive the new 2024 Lexus ES350, now only $353 a month. Or choose the new 2023 Lexus RZ450E for only $399 a month. You can drive a new Lexus today. Visit Lexus of Montgomery, part of the Sutherland Automotive Group. Bin number rd 7704 the views and opinions of the following program are solely those of the host and other contributors. These do not necessarily represent those of Liberty Acquisitions 825, Blue Water Broadcasting, its management, staff, or any advertisers. 
It's time for Montgomery's conversational radio show. It's news and views on News Talk 93.1 FM. To join the conversation, call 272-9228. There are those that think I'm a very stable genius. Stop playing with it. It's not just about sex. Shut up, silly woman. Can you get a cough, please? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the... Go, you know the, you know the thing. I got hairy legs. Joey Clark. Welcome back. I'm Joey. He's Eddie. How you doing, buddy? Doing all right. Now, uh, let's get into a little Alabama news, shall we? All right, I got some, too. Oh, you go first, then. I just pulled it up. It looks like a, a dealership in Arab, Alabama, uh, is missing $1.2 million worth of vehicles that were stolen from the dealership. Wow. I don't even know. I don't know how that's done. How do you do that? I guess you've got to Maybe have, take one of the trucks that transport the car. That's what I thought. It would be the easy way, right? But it'd be easy to spot. I think they drive through the dealership window, wherever the keys are, they access, access that, and they just start. Cause and not you just one have enough guys people no to take yeah, them you all. you got 15 or 30 people. Yeah. And, uh, That's quite a heist. I see it. Well, I've seen now on uh, YouTube several times. People are kind of doing When this. does a heist go from, like, that's an awful criminal deed to, like, that's really freaking cool that y'all pulled that off? Mm. Is it a monetary level? Or is it, like, you no, overcame it, security in a particular way? Also depends on as long as no one, as long as only the man gets hurt. Only the man takes the hit. Like, say, money is stolen or jewelry is stolen. A lot of that money or jewelry stolen for someone. Well, that tells me they could afford. They had insurance. And they could take the hit. I don't feel so bad. Oh, I thought you were going to make this a men versus women thing. No. And the way you said it, when the man No, when the man takes the hit. Like, uh, oh, in, yeah, like you know, stick it to the man. Yeah. Like the big, you The know, bank. Like, to say a bank robbery. Right, so you... It's, I don't feel any guilt towards a bank robbery. So when Target was, you know, looted. Could care less. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after going through there. And, yeah. See, but less. that's still like looting to me isn't all that impressive. Now, documenting looting, do you remember that one video from the George Floyd summer where I, the guy was videoing people coming out of Target? Dude, He's I like, what did you get? The OJ stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, I remember that. That was, some of the, that was some of the first open looting I'd ever seen. I was like, at first it was kind of exciting, and then I, I kind of see now, what's does happening. Now, Rodney King happen exciting. before OJ or after? Before. Right before. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then so OJ's sort of right on the heels of that, yeah. right? Yeah. And I just, I get, with Rodney King, you remember the, I can't remember the guy, I don't mean any disrespect, I can't remember the truck driver's name, but he got pulled out of the truck oh, and he yeah. took a, a fire extinguisher and bashed him in the head with it. Dude still got a dent in his head. Mm-hmm. And then people always bring up the Koreans on the rooftops with their AKs. Okay. See me? If Eddie was Korean, that's where Eddie would be. I, I mean, I, I don't see an issue with that. I'm protecting my business. Right. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the looting. So, in Arab, yeah, one point two million dollars. Two million dollars. That's a lot of cars, man. Well, because what type of dealership was this? A Rolls Royce spot in Arab? No, I got to figure it was. Uh, oh yeah, they got three hundred keys. They got to the service bay with two. Okay, that starts three hundred keys. That, yeah, and if some vehicles, well, yeah, now trucks, SUVs are getting into the forty, fifty, six. Oh yeah, I'm going to say a fifty thousand dollar car. Now right. I don't understand, and I'm not trying to put this out there, but if you're ever going to steal vehicles. Why not do it from the manufacturer where there's no paperwork has yet been filed yet? Hello? Hello? Don't understand that. Some reason I just heard everything you just said in a Korean accent. Oh. <laughs> and it was very funny to me. <laughs> very funny. That's indeed. the way you heard it, not the way I said nope, it. Nope, not <laughs> how you said it. It's how I heard it, though. <laughs> but, uh, okay, we didn't get into this in deep detail. I did discuss it some with Jeff Poor as it was going on. So last week... Jeff Four had on, I believe also like uh, Phil Williams up in Huntsville had this guy on, Ethics Commissioner Stan McDonald. And he was really lambasting the uh, work of Matt Simpson, who's in the southern part of the state, uh, who's trying to do reform to the ethics laws. Also, of course, the attorney general of this great state, mm -hmm. Steve Marshall, has come out against this change in the ethics laws. But Stan McDonald was really forceful. And then Matt Simpson was on uh, Sean Sullivan show right after Jeff Poor, and essentially said, hey, Stan McDonald needs to know the law better. He's been donating to political campaigns. That's a felony. Ooh, that's, yeah. 
You can't do that I as an ethics that was, commissioner. Yeah, uh, legal at all. So I'm not going to read it, but I have to say it's one of the most genuine apologies I've heard in a while. The man, Stan McDonald, put it in writing. He apologized to everybody. He said, I still have my disagreements about the law, but I, I'm so sorry the way I handled myself this past week. And it was actually a rare moment in politics where somebody, it was it, it was a true apology. I was Pretty, that, that was my next question. Because we are talking about well, politicians. So. Because you also get the folks who go, I apologize, I take full responsibility for this, and then nothing happens, right? right? Yes. They keep their jobs and all yeah. this stuff. Well, here's the news. Ethics Commissioner Stan McDonald resigns. Now, that's interesting. So maybe he genuinely was Stands like... Stands by his conviction. Well, and he realized, oh, damn, I really stepped it in here. I was kind of acting like an ass, and... But see, I for me, I, I, and I know it sounds crazy, but I have more respect for someone like that. Well, and that was my sense. is like, what are these two grown men, like, yelling at each other? And McDonald's more doing the yelling than... Uh, there was one point during the interview you couldn't even understand. I'm like, been Whoa, there. Dude, you're not Alex Jones. I've seen your hernia. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, he's resigned now. Wow, after that's, publishing that's... a public apology the same day. See, I... Again, don't know very much about it all, but for some reason, I have much more respect that, that he was he did that. And better than some of the Koreans, they'll apologize and then go jump out a window. Yeah. yeah. I'm just checking 1819 News to see the latest uh, coming out. Huh? Anything good? Pansexual, non-binary Irondale man arrested for explosive device left outside AG's office. I meant to ask you about that. Is this linked morning. to far left Antifa movement. I meant to ask you about that this morning, Joe. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, because we heard the story mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah, they did. It happened on a Friday. We heard about it on a Monday. 26 years old, charged with two felonies of malicious damage. By explosives and one count of possession of an unregistered destructive device. Wait, you can have registered destructive devices? I think that's how you get busted when you go to register the destructive device. Wait, you can like own C4, right? You can own, can you own a rocket you launcher? Can... Grenade launcher? If you have a special license, you can. Like a man pad? Like shoulder fire? Right. Shoulder rockets? fire missile? Is it okay I have a javelin in the garage back? <laughs> I inherited it. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I inherited it. So that I'm, makes it okay. I'm in good with one of the executives of Lockheed. This is how I got yeah. my hands on Just a prototype, but still right. be careful with it. Well, you buy the flamethrower. But apparently the device was found at 3, almost 4 in the morning, 3.42 a.m., mm -hmm. outside the AG's office here in Montgomery. I'm glad According to court that. documents, the device was a coffee container-like vessel that contained insulation material soaked in gasoline or lighter fluid substance, a mortar, firecrackers, and nails. Oh, damn. That's like a maimer. napalm dirty bomb. I'm just trying to maim somebody really good. That's, that's pretty awful. awful. Yeah. Holy crap. That's not, that's not a property damage. That's a personal. I'm trying to damage someone personally. That would maim somebody. Yeah, that would yeah. kill somebody. Cause a lot of pain, amputation, things like that. Jonathan Ross, acting U.S. attorney, said in court documents filed this week, investigators were able to identify Calvert by stickers he placed on buildings at or near the scene of the attempted bombing that espouses various far-left terrorist sympathies. Mm. The stickers placed on state buildings depicted different graphics advocating for various political ideologies. Some included the phrase, support your local Antifa or Antifa. Antifa does not describe a particular group, Caleb Taylor writing this up for 1819 News, but rather describes individuals who adhere to what they consider as anti-fascist beliefs. The term Antifa is often associated with anarchist violent extremists, individuals who, in addition to holding anti-fascist beliefs, are also opposed to capitalism and the current form of U.S. government and who advocate violence to achieve their goals. That is actually from uh, the briefing right there. So they are just writing it up as he was just... Um... Yeah, Tifa type soldier and trying to make some noise. Okay. According to court documents, stickers identified as being placed on state buildings, which also match the stickers held by Calvert in social media videos, include an Antifa logo superimposed over a rainbow flag background with the words "Anti-Fascism is Community Self-Defense," a black and white image of a mass individual wearing a baseball bat and holding a flag which read "Abolish Private Property." 
two red roses superimposed over the globe with words, everything for everyone. Well, it'll never work out quite that way, fellas. A purple colored sticker with a masked face inside of a female pictogram. The words at the top of the sticker read, feminist action. A white sticker with black text of an elderly individual holding an AK-47 rifle in the words, arm the homeless. So, all right. I, 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 I don't know. I don't understand how these... And if you want to read this for yourself, details, again, right? it's on the top of 1819news.com. Again, written up by Caleb Taylor, uh, who's a man's man. We need to get him on the show. Bring him on. I mean, he makes me feel like it. Just namby-pamby. Really? Yeah, I was going to say something else. But... Really? That soft, huh? Yeah. No, oh, wow. he's just a serious fella. And only he's a big guy, too. Burly? Burly guy? Yeah, tall. How's his knees? I don't know. It's probably probably better than yours after I'm I get just, done with you. I'm I get, well, you that I be, get to work with you, brother. Whenever you have a big guy, first thing you're going to look at, check out his knees. And then I'm going to give you another tip. If he's got ears that look like cauliflower, don't mess with him. Well, and honestly, at the end of the day, I, um, I'm i seeing a video here. There are a lot of folks, I think, who are just lost souls. Oh, yeah. Apparently, he was associated with the Trevor Project, describes itself as the largest suicide prevention organization and uh, for LGBTQ young people in the U.S. He described himself as pansexual. Now, I think there are a lot of folks who are uh, struggling with meaning these days. Who isn't, we huge, honestly? We have a huge mental health crisis here, and not just in Alabama, but in the United States in general. And a lot of people, like you said, they just feel lost. They're just lost. Lost souls. Well, clicking on that, I didn't know uh, that would be the latest at 1819 News. But again, folks, that is describing the person who left a bomb and a pretty serious bomb. Thank mm -hmm. God it didn't actually go off mm -hmm. with people around. Whew. Hey, how about this? What? Let's uh, hit a break and we'll come back. Okay. Reset the table here. Want to carry News Talk in your pocket? Download the News Talk 93.1 app from the App Store. Available on iPhone and Android. Never miss a moment. Download now. Hi, this is Bo Goodson from the Goodson Group. Selling a home in the River Region in this market takes some planning and preparation to be successful. Here are some steps to take to get your home sold fast. Remember the five P's. Prepare the home. Fresh coat of paint inside and out and complete any repairs needed. Professionally clean the home. A deep cleaning of floors, cabinets, windows, and blinds will leave a great impression for future buyers. Provide a home warranty for the buyer to give the buyer peace of mind after the closing. Provide a closing cost allowance for the buyer to help them be able to afford your home. Price your home to sell, not sit. A comparative market analysis from a local realtor will demonstrate what other properties have sold for in your neighborhood. Well-priced homes sell faster with less hassle. Houses are selling fast and sellers are getting top dollar. For all the answers, call Bo Goodson at the Goodson Group, 221-2883 or 551-0225. If what you like is getting the highest payouts, getting the most free play, and finding more of your favorite games all on a spacious upscale gaming floor, then Wind Creek Atmore is your kind of fabulous. No matter what fabulous means to you, you'll find it here. Wind Creek Atmore. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 GAMBLE. Medical Outreach Ministries is a free healthcare clinic providing primary and specialty care for uninsured, low-income adults in our area. MOM sees almost 1,000 patients annually who are attended to by volunteers, including physicians, nurses, and pharmacists. Please call 334-281-8008 or visit momclinic.org to learn how you might qualify for our services, volunteer, or donate to this vital community service. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Greenwood, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy, effective leadership, and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights, our values, and our future. 
God bless you in Alabama, and God bless the USA. I'm Dick Brubaker, and I approve this ad. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters, but then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited LeafFilter.com slash beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit LeafFilter.com slash beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. For too long, Alabama's statewide news companies have shamed us for our conservative Christian values. Alabama deserves a news company that cherishes our culture. A company that isn't bought and paid for by the powers that be. 1819 News is that company. Run by Alabamians for Alabamians, 1819 News celebrates what is good and beautiful about our state while exposing those who work against our values in secret. Just go to 1819news.com to learn more. Subscribe to our newsletter. That's 1819news.com. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Cole Plumbing, 279-8919. Cole Plumbing is number one in the number two business. You don't have to dig a hole. They have proprietary pipelining technology. Ask them about their tankless water heaters. Remember, when you have trouble with your bowl, call on Cole. If it concerns your community, you'll hear about it on News Talk 93.1. News Talk 93.1 FM WACV. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table. I got worms. Joey Clark. Welcome back to News and Views in the Afternoon. I'm Joey. He's Eddie. Our number, 334-272-9228. That's 334-272-9228. And, uh, well, let's check in on the news here. Oh, O.J. Simpson. He passed away today at the age of 76. 76, huh? Yeah. How many of those years were spent in prison? Um, how much you reckon he did? I don't know off the top of my head. I'm gonna because say he, he ended up for that uh, burglary, right? Right. That's what he tried know, to steal right? back his own memorabilia or so something. You can't do that. <laughs> Just because you earned it, don't like, mean well, it's yours. It, it, well, but if it's actually yours, like maybe you should like well, here's, pursue it on the up and up. Or, or it could have been I sold it to you. Right. 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 <laughs> and now somebody else has it. Okay, so do you want to read some of the 42 questions that, you know, this uh, Stormy Daniels case that's being... 42? There are 42 questions potential jurors had to answer. Uh, I only, only want to have, like, a couple questions. Are, are you married? How do you feel about people cheating on spouses? Well, some of these are standards. Without telling us your address, what neighbor do you live in? Upper East, Lower West, Why does that matter? Inwood. What do you do for a living? How does that matter? How long have you been doing that? Who are you current? Who's your current employer? What is your educational background? No. No, but these are pretty standard for a jury form, though, Eddie. Are Nobody's you married? Business. Hmm? Nobody's business. Well, the employer part is definitely part of it. Why? So you can go back to my employer and tell them how I... No, to be like, we might seize your employee against their will. You have to pay them still. It's sort of stuff like that. Uh, there's Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got you. Uh, you know what I mean. Yep. Are you married? If you are married or living with another adult, what does that person do for a living? What do you like to do in your spare time, Eddie? None of your business. Do you participate in any organizations or advocacy groups? None of your business. I don't think you're getting on the jury. Have you ever served on a jury before? No, they won't ever accept me because I answer questions like none of your business. Which of the following print publications, cable or network programs, or online media such as websites, blogs, or social media platforms do you visit, read, or watch? And they list like New York Times, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, New York Post, New York Daily News, Newsday, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, X, True Social. None of your business. Do you listen to or watch podcasts? If so, which ones? Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been a victim of a crime, you or a close relative? Have you, a relative or a close friend, ever been employed by a federal, state, or local government? including but not limited to the state of New York. Have you or a relative or close friend ever had any education, training, or work experience in the legal field? Yeah, they don't want some nope. lawyer getting in there messing around with their jury. Have you, a relative or a close friend, ever been accused or convicted of a crime? 
Do you have any political, moral, intellectual, or religious beliefs or opinions that might prevent you from following the court's instructions? Yes. You ain't getting a jury for this, man. Have they're you just, ever read Murray Rothbard? They're just not going to get one, Joey. Do you have a health condition that might interfere with your ability to participate in the jury? Narcolepsy. And then some of these are just timing. Yeah. So you're not so going to get a jury. This is a have long you ever been convicted? list. All right, let's say you have you ever considered yourself a supporter of or belong to any of the following? The QAnon movement. I don't know what you're talking about. Proud Boys. Who's that? Oath Keepers. Three Percenters. Boogaloo Boys. Boogaloo Boys. Antifa. Or Antifa. What about the Boy Scouts? Stay on there. Do you have any feelings of opinions? That's how it's actually worded. Do you have any feelings of opinions about how Mr. Trump is being treated in this case? What's that got? Mm. Do you have any strong opinions or firmly held beliefs about former President Donald Trump? Or the fact that he's currently a candidate for president. That would interfere with you being an impartial mm -hmm. juror. Mm -hmm. Have you ever listened to any of the following books or read any of the podcasts by Michael Cohn? <laughs> Man, this is it's a little intrusive, I have to admit. Oh, there's a picture of Trump and Stormy Daniels. Man, those bazoombas are obviously fake. That's just too bit, big on her frame. She must have back problems. Ah. <sighs> I just think, I told Judge Knapp to his face uh, Tuesday, like, if they put Trump in prison or jail over this, this country's going to go nuts. This is absolutely it, absurd. Honestly, and, and we joke about it, but that's one of my concerns is because it hasn't stopped. It just keeps going. And we're so many of us are saying, you better not do this. You better not do that. And it's happening. Yeah. Happening over and yeah. over and over again. Now, we mentioned at the top of the show some new studies coming out. And one is a landmark study. This is from the Daily Signal. Landmark study reveals transgender kids actually have other mental health diagnoses instead. Yeah. Now, this is fresh off the heels of the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics announcing it would not allow transgender identified men to compete in women's athletics. That's the small, no, NCAA. Right. That's what they're going to start referring to. This is the smaller to. one. Yeah. But there is a new study from British pediatrician Dr. Hilary Cass confirms what we've always known. Children presenting with sudden onset gender dysphoria are actually suffering from other mental health diagnoses, not true gender dysphoria. Her research debunks the gender ideologue's frequent talking point that the imposition of medical gender affirming care on mentally ill children is not only necessary, but life saving. Cass's research instead reveals that children who think they are transgender disproportionately have mental health issues stemming from a difficult family situation or domestic abuse. Correct. That's what I mean by lost right. souls. They are also more likely to be neurodiverse and have a comorbid autism spectrum disorder. After all, relating nothing, to others. Nothing that surprises us at all. Cass's study reveals that gender-affirming medical interventions would not remedy any of these psychological issues. No, in fact, it probably, it's not the studies Joey talking, probably makes it worse. Makes it worse. Effectively using such interventions would mean turning a blind eye to the real underlying psychological, mm -hmm. psychological distress with which gender-confused children often struggle. Cass's groundbreaking report reveals that mental health therapy is the best approach for gender dysphoric children rather than rushing to put them on hormones or puberty puberty blockers or performing mutilating and irreversible surgeries. The report also warns that if children are permitted to make choices to physically and socially conform with their gender of choice, rather than receiving the necessary treatment for their underlying mental health issues, they will experience significant negative psychological repercussions. Securing medical gender affirming care creates the negative psychological repercussions gender identitarians warn us about. And the failure to receive it does not. At last, the narrative about adolescent gender dysphoria started to crumble. And in fact, there's a Dutch study of 2,700 children revealed that a significant majority of gender-confused children grow out of that feeling by the time they are fully grown adults. This newly published research tracked adolescents for over 15 years. 2,700 kids over 15 years? Wow and found that gender confusion in children drastically decrease over time, supporting the argument that when children believe they are transgender, it is often nothing more than a passing sensation, not an indisputable fact. 
Both Cass's study and the recent Dutch study argue against transitioning kids who report gender dysphoria. Together, they advise for holistic treatment of these adolescents, treatment which addresses the complex psychological reasons a child may think he or she was born in the wrong body. Yep. Are we surprised about this? Nope. But thank God you have actual folks in the academy trying to push back. Because I think that is, um, well, it's it's harrowing. I can't imagine being a parent and your kid <laughs> coming to you saying I start, start presenting right. in that way. I, I, I cannot imagine. And it's one thing if it's like persistent from a young age. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of her name. Uh, but it, she wrote a book on this whole thing forgetting her name but the the point is that gender story for the longest time seemed to present in young boys at a very early age and it was persistent even as they got older they still felt like they were in the wrong body but the latest like boom is in young women who all of a sudden it's happening so it's just it's a sad time and so many of the things in the news it's just reading that makes me sad you, know, you want a good story? Hmm. Nah, I'll tell you later. Oh, come on. I just read it a few minutes ago. 85-year-old woman, somebody broke into her house, a 39-year-old man. Mm -hmm. And her and her disabled son were living in the home. He was able to, uh, the uh, perpetrator was able to handcuff the 85-year-old woman to a chair and start rambling throughout the house as he threatened to kill her. Well, while he was in uh, one room of the house, she went with the chair still attached to her to her bedroom, got her 357. Came back and shot him dead. That's what a 357 will do. Yes, it will. And it doesn't 80, really take more than one. 85-year-old woman. That's amazing. Handcuffed to a chair. Wow. And and she never told him about her disabled son being there because she knew that would cause another issue. That's one smart cookie right there. Well, that does make me happy. That made me very What a happy. woman. Right. 85 years old. Handcuffed to a chair. Drug the chair down the hallway to get her pistol under her pillow. That was good. Okay, we should hit a break. Okay. But first, as part of the program, brought to you again by Dylan Rings. Josh and Leslie Ryder there, Dylan Rings. And as we were talking earlier, they can get you a fresh appraisal. In fact, if your jewelry yeah. hasn't been appraised in five years or more, like you've you once had it appraised sure. maybe 10 years ago, you need to get it reappraised. Definitely. Those the value is really, time. well, inflation. Yep. And when you look at inflation, especially over the last few years, yeah, that jewelry, that jewelry is probably worth a lot more. And, of course, they're at Dylan Rings. They are a full-service jewelry shop. So if you need a repair, Josh Ryder's the guy that other jewelers in town mm -hmm. use. He's just that good. Yes, they can is. even do watch repairs Yep. or uh, maybe a spa treatment yeah. to clean up that jewelry. Or maybe you want to reset a stone or reimagine a piece of jewelry you already have. Right. Maybe it's celebrating, say, a 25th wedding anniversary, something like that. And you want to you know, update your wedding band, something along those How lines. How are you going to be when that happens? I don't know. I'm going to live forever. Like that guy drinks his son's blood or no, he got a plasma infusion. Sorry. I didn't mean to play into the QAnon. Anyway, they're at Dylan rings. Uh, they can do it all. And of course they have an amazing selection of jewelry yeah, from high end pieces to that everyday jewelry. It doesn't break your heart. If it breaks and it's not going to break the bank, but it still looks great. So stuff you wear, like going to the beach or going camping or something. Mm -hmm. So check them out today. That's again, Dylan rings. You can always go to DylanRings.com or just look them up on the book of faces or Instagram. But I really encourage you to stop by 119 Brown Springs road right here in Montgomery, just off of Atlanta highway. And be sure to tell Josh and Leslie that Joey and Eddie, from the radio sent you. He may not know whether he's coming or going, but whether you're going to work or coming home, Greg Budell is there. Mornings, 6 till 9, and afternoons, 3 till 6. Only on News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. Well, I'm here with Miss Dot at the Eastbrook Flea Market and Antique Mall. Well, Dot, spring is here. We're heading into spring, and I'm so glad. We've got some furniture coming in, some spring and, and summer furniture. It's not coming in too fast, but it's it's beginning to trickle in. You know, we're just busy, is all I can say, and, and I'm thankful for that. It looks to me like you have a lot of items for outside. We do. We've got the wrought iron furniture, patio things, and Booth 70 in the window had a swing, and it was just beautiful. I expect he'll 
will have another one too. You know, there are a lot of treasures in East Brook Flea Market and Antique Mall to be found. Yes, if you don't see it here, you didn't need it anyway. All right, give us those hours of operation. Monday through Friday is 10 until 6, Saturday 9 until 6, and Sunday 12.30 to 4.30. That's the East Brook Flea Market and Antique Mall, 425 Coliseum Boulevard. Make 2024 the year you break away from the chain stores and join us here at Adams Drugs. We value your business and want to provide you the best customer service at the lowest possible price. We've been serving up excellent customer service here in the River Region for over 62 years. I made the swap to Adams Drugs and I couldn't be happier. Having a job and then getting three kids to all of their activities keeps me busy. I don't have an hour to waste waiting on a prescription. At Adams, they know me and my family. I get in and out in minutes, and when I can't get by Adams, they'll bring the prescription right to my door. What are you waiting for? Come in to Adams Drugs and let us earn your business. Our friendly and personal staff will talk with you and answer any questions you may have about your prescriptions. Your satisfaction is our number one goal. Visit us at adamsdrugs.net for the location nearest to you. Adams Drugs is your local independent Health Mart pharmacy. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. This is your roving reporter, and today I am talking with an elk. Uh, hey man. Mr. Elk, I was just wondering, what do elk do to take care of their money? Well, like most smart folks, we call David Erdis. You mean Alabama's most favorite asset preservationist? That's him, man. We call him up at 334-279-7431 or... 205-479-0839. I see. Yes, he is our preferred money man. The money man with the money plan. Uh, you've been paying attention. Well, could you give us those numbers one more time? 334-279-7431 or 205-479-0839. And I just want to try to give you a heads up, man. Oh, what's that? I'm uh, not an elk. Not an elk, huh? Well, then, pray tell, what are you? Ah, uh, Knights of Columbus. I am not even going to make a comment. Uh, well, the baby liked it. Hi, I'm Brian McMahon with Turf Stalkers. Within a few months of advertising with Blue Water, our customer base doubled. If you're looking for similar results, we highly recommend advertising with Blue Water. Our advertisers are our biggest advocates. Call us to find out how radio can increase your bottom line. Blue Water Broadcasting. Local folks. Helping local business. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Cole Plumbing, 279 8919. Cole Plumbing is number one in the number two business. You don't have to dig a hole, they have proprietary pipelining technology. Ask them about their tankless water heaters. Remember, when you have trouble with your bowl, call on Cole. Rich Thomas Weather, a service of Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, where dump truck drivers are in demand. Wiley Sanders is on the grow. We need dump truck drivers now. Call 855-77-9785. Hi, everybody. We've got some brighter days ahead, a great weekend forecast. Today, a transitional day, windy at times, cooler, well, the high near 70. Clouds will dominate most of the time through tonight. Low tonight down to about 50. Tomorrow, Friday, nice start to a great weekend. Lots of sunshine, high 71. We'll be teasing 80 degrees Saturday, near 83 Sunday with more sunshine. Beautiful weekend. Mid-80s are back on Monday. From the Blue Water Weather Center, this is Rich Thomas. ASE Credit Union makes auto loans easy with rates as low as 4.75% APR. Apply online or visit your local branch today. Federally insured by the NCUA Equal Opportunity Lender. ASE Credit Union. News and talk without the static. The River Region's most trusted voice. News Talk 93.1 FM WACV. Joey Clark. Welcome back. To do some views in the afternoon. I'm Joey. He's Eddie. Hey, Joey. And uh, this segment, I want to go to a story that I was checking out yesterday. This is from Barry Weiss in her new publication, The Free Press. Okay. 
And this is a short video to give you the long and short of it, but it's an NPR whistleblower. Mm -hmm. Let's Saw this. listen in together. Do you see NPR and its shift to the left as sort of singular to that organization or of a piece with a much broader trend that's happening inside legacy media institutions? It's much broader within a legacy media organization. I think it's very commonplace. For me, what's different about NPR is we are a public service institution. We have a public mission, and we have a show called All Things Considered. We have a fellowship called the Reflect America Fellowship. So I think we have a particular obligation to reflect America, to understand people from all different outlooks, to to bring up things that might be uncomfortable for for our progressive audience members to to be a little more daring to take a little more chance to be more curious about things that don't fit the narrative um, so I think at NPR it was it was a particular problem because we're we're a public institution and and you know for years I think a lot of people felt NPR was like a national trust uh, that's an, the voice you just heard his name is Uri Berliner mm -hmm. and uh, he for the longest time there was what? the uh, senior business editor yeah. for NPR. Yeah, I've watched NPR or listened to NPR most of my whole life. Being a military family, NPR was the one thing that you could kind of taste for America. Wherever we went, we could find it. <clears throat> but I always thought it as simply it is um, the Democrats' communication. I mean, it's 100%. It's, it's always been that way. I think and because it's such a big government organization, it needs to be burned to the ground because they do not serve any purpose for the average American people anymore. Well, and he uh, actually penned a pretty long mm -hmm. op-ed for the free press. Uh, let me share a little bit okay. of it here, Eddie. This is from the guy you just heard, folks, early Uri Berliner. <clears throat> you know the stereotype or of, excuse me, you know the stereotype of the NPR listener and EV driving, wordle playing, tote bag carrying coastal elite it doesn't precisely describe me but it's not far off i'm sarah lawrence educated was raised by a lesbian peace activist mother i drive a subaru and spotify says my listening habits are most similar to people in berkeley i fit the npr mold i'll cop to that yep so when i got a job here 25 years ago i never looked back as a senior editor on the business desk where news is always breaking We've covered upheavals in the workplace, supermarket prices, social media, and AI. It's true, NPR has always had a more liberal bent, but during most of my tenure here, an open-minded, curious culture prevailed. We were nerdy, but not knee-jerk activist or scolding. In recent years, how would you describe Click and Clack? How did they fit in there on NPR? Honestly, I love Click and Clack. Probably a big reason I listen. Good. Those brothers are good. They were, but they were, they had their moments where they were typical NPR people. Right. Well, they're from Boston. Right, right. Yeah. right. And not in a bad way either. Not, right. not in a bad way at all. In recent years, however, that has changed. Today, those who listen to NPR or read its coverage online find something different. The distilled worldview of a very small segment of the U.S. population. If you are conservative, you will read this and say, duh, it's always been this way. But it hasn't. For decades, since the founding in 1970, a wide swath of America turned, tuned into NPR for reliable journalism and gorgeous audio pieces with birds singing in the Amazon. Millions came to us for conversations that exposed us to voices around the country and the world radically different from our own, engaging precisely because they were unguarded and unpredictable. No image generated more pride within NPR than the farmer listening to Morning Edition from his or her tractor at sunrise. Back in 2011, although NPR's audience tilted a bit to the left, it still bore a resemblance to America at large. 26% of listeners described themselves as conservative, 23% as middle of the road, and 37% as liberal. By 2023, the picture is completely different. Only 11% described themselves as very or somewhat conservative, 21% as middle of the road, and 67% of listeners said they were very or somewhat liberal. We weren't just losing conservatives, we were also losing moderates and traditional liberals. An open-minded spirit no longer exists within NPR, and now, predictably, we don't have an audience that reflects America. That wouldn't be a problem for an openly polemical news outlet serving a niche audience. 
There's a role for that. Mm -hmm. But for NPR, which purports to consider all things, it's devastating, both for its journalism and its business model. And you got to wonder, you know, we often talk about uh, the elite in this country and how they're failing everyday Americans. So what would you want out of an elite? Or maybe you wanted to be the elite. Maybe you wanted to run everything, right, Eddie? Mm. No, nah, neither of us, I think, right. fit that mold. We just want folks, leave us alone. Or That's classically kind of middle class, right. American middle class. But say you did want to, you wanted a good ruling elite or you wanted to become the ruling elite. Well, how would you do it? Well, you have to be always right. Mm -hmm. You have to be damn talented, compelling, and you need to be correct. To where even folks who disagree with you Say, dadgummit, I hate their guts, but they're... They're always right. And they're always on top of stories I never even thought of, and yeah. yada, yada, yada. And that's what's amazing, is what's happened to not only media outlets like NPR, the New York Times, or the Washington Post, which still, by the way, folks, hold that prestige level, but it's... I don't know. It's going down, But right? it's fading slowly. Yeah, I don't know how they still hold it. Well, some of that is the legacy of having all these contacts in government. So if you can actually I get the that. scoop from the CIA or whatever, yeah, uh, from whomever in top levels of the government, and you're not punished, they're not punished. This is just the government almost putting out a memo to the mm -hmm. public through a reporter, say at the Times. <laughs> yeah, that still is going to give you a little bit of extra prestige and a leg up on say any competitor that comes in. But you're starting to see the prestige wane a bit, fall off a bit, and it's not just these newspapers; it's places like. Harvard or the Ivy League in general. There are a lot of universities. People go, oh, yeah, great. You went to there. But like, is that it? it? Or or we put them on a shelf for so long, and now just 15, 20, 30 years ago, we didn't know what was behind that. You know, somebody went to Harvard. Well, oh, you would think great... high IQ. Right. But, yeah. but now with the media everywhere and 24-7 and news and everything, suddenly someone that went to Harvard? That's maybe not the most impressive thing anymore. Or you know for a fact those folks are against me. Yeah. Or they went to Harvard, um, and you know they they came away ad adapting, I guess you would say, to to certain rules that we down here don't go by. Right. They got a little bit more snooty, you know. And now that people are aware of that, I always thought Harvard is just some great learning institution. I don't think of that anymore. Harvard and those big schools. I don't. I still think they're a learning institution, but I don't have the same respect for them as I used to because of what they're putting out and the mindset of people that have coming out of those schools. It lost a lot of their shine. Right, and it's across the board with our elite institutions, yeah. and it's not just the guy who has always been since the seventies saying these damn liberals, these pointy head liberals, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, masters of the universe, right, right. Stuff. right? That's always existed. We've brought a lot of those folks up to D.C. <laughs> here from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> But then those guys are playing a sly game. They'll call out all the pointy-head liberals, and then they set up all the military right. bases here and get all that federal money, baby. There you go. Anyway, yeah, that's a long legacy for this damn state. That it God, is. man. But you're starting to see folks that are kind of middle of the road go, yeah, this seems stilted. And to have this guy who was there for 25 years mm -hmm. at NPR. Now, some folks are going to poo-poo it as like, well, going to. oh, he's an old man. He's out of touch. They did that to other folks at the Times who tried to call up mm -hmm. the New York Times. What are y'all doing? So I don't think he's long for this world, but the beautiful thing is there are now outlets like the Free Press, which is more, I would say, classically liberal. Uh, Barry Weiss, a former Times writer. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to go to you know, the podcasting world. There is this new space, and you're talking millions and millions of ears and eyes on these new spaces. And it's what RFK Jr. is banking on. It's what I think propelled Trump the first time. Uh, in fact, it's probably what propelled Barack Obama in 08. Mm -hmm. So it's changing the game oh, in definitely. a large way. And, uh, well, let's see how they adapt, if they can figure out how to adapt. This part of the program brought to you by Pest Pro Services. And they're at Pest Pro. Ashley and that fantastic team of hers ready to help you out. Now, this time of year, you need to be paying attention to two particular pest control problems. All right, what, what we got? Mosquitoes. Yeah, man. Or termites. There you go. Now, mosquitoes can be annoying. Termites can, like, destroy your home. Can wreak havoc. And you don't want to wake up to a termite swarm. No. It's like Halloween's come early this year. <laughs> That's freaky stuff. Right. And you just had your yard uh, near the yeah, lake. Yeah, we had the uh, mosquito treatment, treatment. done. Yeah. And uh, with all the rain that we've had since we had it done, 
I have not seen any increase in mosquitoes. We don't get bit anymore. Uh, none of our customers have complained at all about mosquitoes. And honestly, who wants to have a backyard and you got to sit there, like you said, spray yourself down, light the torches. Who wants all that? Right. I just want to enjoy my backyard. Or it could be you got a lot of property and you've got a huge fire ant now oh, that just yeah. develops. Yeah. Or maybe one of those wasp nests that's just, it, it's one thing where it's one or two or three, but when you're talking about a huge yeah, network of wasps. out of control. Yeah. You got to call in the pros and they're at Pest Pro Services. They're ready to help you out. I encourage you to make them your everyday exactly. pest control company. That number, 265 nine 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 zero that's two six five nine 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 zero or you can always go to ppsriverregion.com or just search pest pro services on the book of faces today when you want to know call a pro pest pro services and be sure to tell ashley and that great team that joey and eddie sent you we'll be right back want to carry news talk in your pocket download the news talk 93.1 app from the app store (laughs) available on iphone and android never miss a moment download now not a race. Hello to all my friends in the great state of Alabama. This is Lee Green, and I'm deeply honored to extend my wholehearted endorsement to a true American patriot, Dick Brubaker, for Congress. His proven track record of principled advocacy, effective leadership, and dedicated public service guarantees that he will always stand firm in defense of our rights, our values, and our future. God bless you in Alabama, and God bless the USA. I'm Dick Brubaker, and I approve this ad. This hour of news and views is brought to you by our good friends at Cole Plumbing, 279-8919. Cole Plumbing is number one in the number two business. You don't have to dig a hole. They have proprietary pipelining technology. Ask them about their tankless water heaters. Remember, when you have trouble with your bowl, call on Cole. The River Region's first and only news talk station on FM. Live, local talk. News Talk 93.1 FM, WACV. So, Eddie, the, it got out over the commercials. What were you saying about Filipinos? I was, I was going down the YouTube rabbit holes. The, the Filipino community, mm-hmm. they have a better replication of American music, be able to sing it karaoke style and play it than anybody I've ever seen before. I mean, just, I went down the rabbit hole the last couple of days. It's just amazing to me. They sing. Maybe it's the fact that they just have a karaoke scene. Well, I mean, they can, they can sound um, more country than anybody I've ever heard if they do a Garth Brooks, but they can also do a Pavarotti. They can also do a Mariah. I mean, they're just, uh, to me, it's just been amazing. When's the last time you listened to Pavarotti? One of those commercials where they're selling this crap. Well, you never seen those? Could you call Ray Balls for me? I can. Let's go to Randall first. So, hey, Randall, how you doing? Hey, man. Hey, uh, since you got that all going on, I mean, to be real quick, like, if you look up Alicia Keys, what she sung at the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. uh, somebody recorded on their phone, and they, and they AI said, corrected it, like, yeah. Yeah, so you can go look at that and see how that uh, that came from uh, your boy Pate, Nate, or whatever his name is. And then a plasma, man, I hate you, ain't gonna believe this, when you start the plasma, and, and oh, fuck get that, but I, I know, oh, I'm sorry, I wish you told me you said, all right, go back, who's that? All right, bird. Go from one extreme to other, so you have to learn both lies and trace it back to the truth. General Berg is a you can go out there and search it. He he says what he says in his interview on YouTube pretty much says they have flipped the North and South Pole. All right, that's 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 a, I mean how he talks. Uh, it, it sounds like that. So, but it, they also got videos of people who who use the World Fair plans to look like they flipped the world map. They took it to an extreme somewhere. That is a in there. That general bird, I mean, I, I'm a year and a half from talking about this, but that general bird ain't lie out of his mouth what he's saying in the city. And that's a, a, a history. I mean, they, and, 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 and then Trump knows that the Garden of Eden is under Greenland. That's why he tries to buy it. And, and the reason I think it's been flipped, I, they can do that with with uh, with radio, with megahertz. We've been talking about, you know, uh, different stuff. I don't, man. This is way too early, but I, I want to say they changed history so easy, and I wasn't ready to start articulate this because people ain't quite ready for it. But the North and South Pole, you, you'll see General Burr. You start reading that and watch just watch the words come out of his mouth. So I can then, I can uh, pick that up on my compass. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, you, yeah. they can swap it with a magnetic field. Yeah, so it, uh, that ain't nothing. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Compass, I'll get a so magnet. Don't, get don't think the compass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't think the compass. That's why I told Allison yesterday. Make sure you get their new compass and, and point to their due north when you use the uh the electric the, the blanket with the negative the, uh like you're standing in your, 
uh, the grass barefooted. She got one of the sheets that you plug in that pull a negative charge while you sleep. But you need to be pointing due north because our bodies are electrical beings, and it does. That's why a baby turns into crib. That's why a lot of them don't sleep good at night. People don't think about. Is that why dogs babies. sit there and like turn and? Yeah, yeah, we we are programmed to do that. And we, well, I, I Randall, you're breaking up a little bit, but I, I got to go to Ray Bulls here before I run out of time. Yes, sir, bro. Hey, Randall. Man. Thank plasma, you, Randall. Plasma, 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 keeps us young. That's it. Thank you, man. Let's go to Ray Bowles for Bradville Carpet. Hey, Ray. What's up, Ray? Hey, Randall. I'm sitting here with your good buddy, Steve, going over some plans. He said hello. <laughs> yeah, I think it's your turn to buy him lunch. Yeah. Yeah, definitely your turn <laughs> to buy him lunch, Randall. But, hey, that's something we don't talk about. When you're building a home. Yeah. If you'll come in right off the bat, I mean, as soon as you get your plan, bring me bring me the plan. It could be a year before we're doing the floor. But let's go ahead and sit down and get an idea of what you want where, how you want to design, get the budget in mind, because your flooring is a huge part of what you're building. It might be the, on the floor, but it's a huge, huge part of this whole design. And we're more than happy we don't charge you to do this. We'll sit down and spend an hour with you. Go over everything and get a game plan in your mind. And usually by the time you're ready for it, everything's changed anyway. But at least you got your mind wrapped around it. There you go. Well, that can be very huge in trying to set up a house. So the number's still the same? It is. 285-8117. Call us today. We'll come out and give you that free measurement just as quick. And when you call 285-8117, be sure to tell them you heard Ray Bowles here on the radio with uh, Joey and Eddie. And hey, Randall, if you're in Prattville, we you can take me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, well. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. You hey, too. buddy. Well, did we learn anything today? Oh, yeah. O.J. Simpson died today. 76. 76, yeah. We learned that Trump loves Chick-fil-A. I need 30 milkshakes and some chicken. Find it for the crew. Yeah. Nothing wrong and with that. Uh, I don't know if you know, I guess you saw where the uh, cashier was filming him the whole time and telling him how much she loved him as a Oh, president. sure, man. Yeah. No, and we didn't have time. CNN did a whole sit down, you know, these, these focus groups with black voters. Mm -hmm. And some of the quotes are, we have no trust in Joe Biden. If he doesn't get elected, that is his fault. How, how, how could you elect Joe Biden right now? I mean, if you got fooled one time, I get you. Because we Trump is that time. bad, Eddie. No, he's not. Right. And then Wait, you got the RFK guy. Before everybody gets upset, who's going to win the great state of Alabama for the presidency? Oh, well, that would be Donald John Trump. Yeah, 100%. I think that's... Unless Joey runs. No, no. We can write it, Joey. <laughs> no, they'll kill me. Y'all stay tuned. Happy Hour with Greg Budell. He's next. Broadcasting from the Riverside Chevrolet Master Control Center, this is WACV Kusada, News Talk 93.1 FM. When it's Chevy, it's Riverside. With SRN News, I'm John Scott. California lawmakers have voted to reduce the size of the state's deficit. The state legislature approved legislation that takes a number of steps to reduce the deficit by about $17 billion. Governor Gavin Newsom has said the deficit is about $38 billion. The Nonpartisan legislative analyst office says it could be as much as $73 billion. A federal appeals court considering whether to reinstate Arkansas's first-in-the-nation ban on sex change operations for minors after hearing arguments. At least 24 states have adopted such restrictions.